Hello there, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the Daisy podcast. I want to thank all of our Patreon and YouTube supporters for all of their support. It is really much appreciated. I want to thank Malinar, Ken Brown, Tank Dazza, Shane Murphy, Big Dog, Florida AF, and Eric Johnson for our Patreon supporters. Much, much appreciated and much love to you all. And I also want to give a special thank you to our YouTube members, Jake Azira Cool, OG Bricktop, T Dog, Stud Muffin, Hannah Epps, Zenf777, You My Size, Andrew Boyd, Michael. Darkwing Tate, Daisy Hub, Marson P2, Matt Z, Raymond Normoyle, King Alabar, and Kenny Baker. You are all absolutely fantastic. You are absolute legends. Thank you so much for for providing for the show and supporting us in all of our episodes. We really do appreciate it, and we can't wait to see you on the next show, the Daisy Podcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming along. Episode. 106 of the Daisy Podcast. It's going to be a very special one tonight. We are joined today by a good friend, Reverend. How you doing, mate? I'm doing well. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm doing really, really good. Been really, really excited. Hello, Dumps Cat. Been really excited to have you on today. It's an absolute pleasure and an honor. I can't wait to talk more with you. Dump, Lemons are joined with us as well again today. Thank you very much, guys, for coming along. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Nice. Still no uh, face cam, Lemons? I told you, man, 111. Ah, shit, yes. Of Gotta get it going. Episode 111, man. Nah, mate, now. <laughs> give, give, give it now. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing, bud? I'm good. Good. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. So, Reverend, one of the main things I've always wanted to kind of know about you ever since I first um, first came across you. The minister. How, 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 how did it, how, how did that happen? What, because you're a minister. Um, actually, before we do that, before we do that, I'm all over the place tonight, folks. <laughs> so, before we actually go on to that, I do apologise. I want to get your bio up so we can talk um, about you a bit further. So, <clears throat> Reverend says, as his bio, I'm a 40-year-old father and husband that is having a blast streaming and playing DayZ. I'm an also an ordained minister. I enjoy long walks on the beach in Electro, but really, I <laughs> you're not the only one, mate. It's just, mm, it's so good. I found you want to join me? <laughs> Always, always. <laughs> I found DayZ through YouTube and immediately fell in love. I was tired of quest-based games and was looking for something that was different. I wanted to play an interaction that wasn't kids screaming in my ear. Call of Duty. Yeah, I know that feeling all too well. <laughs> I wanted something that would take skill and keep my attention. DayZ was and is that game for me. Which is quite interesting because we, we said... Um, offline when we were setting the stream up that you started playing Daisy around about three years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I started on console about three years ago and it's uh, I've not been able to stop playing it since really. Hmm. Which console? Was it Xbox or PlayStation? Uh, Xbox, yeah. Oh yeah, you know, the best Ooh. the best one. <laughs> yeah, I know you'd be happy about that. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. So what kind of made you make the jump from console to PC? Were you just feeling like you needed a little bit more or what was it? Um, to be honest with you, I, I started like streaming on console and I really enjoyed it and I really didn't, didn't mind the issues on the console mm. at the time, but I, I, I kept watching people play these really cool servers, you know, like the, you know, all the mods and the guns and yes, that really, what really, that I'm such a loot person, the inventory <laughs> is what really made me go out and buy a PC to be oh, honest. Oh yes. Uh, yes. I, the console inventory just hurts me. I, and yes, uh, yeah so so I, I really thought you know if i'm streaming i really should get serious and buy a pc and uh i did and it was like a brand new game to be honest mm -hmm. and i was i was awestruck at the new day z that i had found on pc i mean that's that's completely fair especially inventory i remember when i remember when Daisy first came out on xbox um one of my friends who he used to play on the mod on on his old pc um and then he moved away and then he went into console so we played it at his house 
and he was like, "Oh, this is so cool! It's so nice to be, you know, playing the game again." And I'm si- I'm standing there, throffing at the mouth like this inventory is bloody terrible. What? How? How is this game good on console? You know, original Xbox One. Oof. <laughs> Very bad, but it's gotten a lot better since, which is great. Um, so you know, you're obviously you're a player to start with. What kind of made you want to start going into the streaming side of things, being a content creator? I really didn't want to, um, <laughs> but okay. I didn't. I, I, I was like, there's no, there's no way that I could do any, you know, I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't like, uh, well, we talked about it a little bit earlier. I'm not a big fan of my own voice. So mm. uh, I didn't think anybody else would be either, but really I just did it to, uh, to kind of show my friends that were like, what's this Daisy game? It looks, it looks horrible, blah, blah, blah. So mm. I just started doing it to show my friends this game that I really enjoyed. And then, uh, you know, five, six, seven people were in talking and I really, nice. I fell in love with the, the chat. You know, I, I, there was a lot of times where I forgot I was playing a game and really enjoyed the com- conversation between myself and chat. And mm. I still, to this day, think that, you know, that's the most important thing. And I try to, um, acknowledge that as much as I can, uh, as I've grown a little bit, but, uh, Really, the streaming, I never thought I would like it, but it really is all about people and interacting with people. And and another reason that I really love DayZ is because it's for that reason. And uh, yeah, so I've never yeah. stopped and I've really enjoyed it. Well, that's the thing, because it's, you know, I, I've, you know, streamed a few times, Dom has, Lemons has, we've all, we've all streamed DayZ and the conversations can be really good. But what I find funny is that, you know, you say you don't like your voice. You have one of the most soothing voices known to man. I could, I could lay in bed and just <laughs> listen to you read a book and I'll be like, mm, bless. It's so, it's so soothing, dude. Like, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm I mean, blushing. It's just, so you should be, me lad. So yeah, I'll read you a be. story later. Mm, please. <laughs> <laughs> but it's no, it's it's really interesting though because you know, you know, you said before when we're when we're setting up, you know, a lot of people might not like the sound of their own, own voice, and it's very it's very true. I I can't stand it. And I was, and I was saying as well, it's like it work. I get confused because I I work primarily on phones. I get confused as a woman. I hate my voice. I hate it so much. It's horrible. But with you, amazing. Is that so, lip smacking there? Mm, my goodness. Baby. <laughs> Mom! She likes my voice! <laughs> so. Oh, you know, that's great day, humor. <laughs> so, um, you know, you, you got into stream and you got into content creation. So, obviously, you could have just stopped at any time and you really like the conversations. So. And now, like, so how how many, um, how successful is your streaming channel right now and the content that you make? It's it's quite good. I've, um, I found myself coming into your channel every now and again, especially when you're wearing the dress and the helmet, which I, I, I'm sorry to say, I'm, I'm disappointed in you, Rev. I'm disappointed. (laughs) I tell you what, depending on how this goes, maybe I'll slip into it, uh, towards the end, huh? You got yourself a deal. All right. (laughs) (laughs) So this is a family friendly show. We no, swear. No, 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 not anymore, boy. Not anymore. I say that all the time, and we were talking about that earlier too. <laughs> uh, so obviously, you know, your streaming's really, you know, it really kicked off, and I can see a lot of people uh, in the chat are really, really happy to see you and and to hear your talk. So hello, everybody. Really appreciate you coming on. Much love to all of you. You're all fantastic. So. Now that you know you've been playing the game for three years and, you, and you're doing the streaming, what's kind of like your next thing? What do you see yourself doing in the future? Is it just going to be like the same thing? You're just enjoying the game, showing it off to your friends and, you know, your community? Or is, it, is there something more that you want to do with it? I mean, really, I've... I mean, the ultimate goal for me would be, you know, to become a full-time, you know, content creator. But yeah. I think I have a long ways to go. Yeah. For that, um, but really, it's just to continue the enjoy of the game, uh, continue to meet uh, the people, you know, people, new people. Uh, just try to, I don't know, just showcase Day Z as as a game that it can be anything that you want it to be, and it's really not. You're not in a box, and but I've really, I've, I've 
dabbled in YouTube as we were talking a little bit before. And I, I just, uh, you know, editing stuff and stuff like that, it just takes so much, so much time. I think we've talked about it before, Mm -hmm. but once you get, I mean, you get the hang of it, I'm sure it gets a little bit easier, but just time is so short, you know, between full-time work and kids and sports and everything else and trying to sneak a stream in, you know, a few times a week. So uh, I found that I just, you know, try to put some, you know, clips or whatever on there is about all I can do at this point and mm-hmm. uh, kind of fumbling my way through TikTok as well. Um, <laughs> that's been pretty fun. Hey, but, but really... All... Oh, sorry, go on, continue. No, go ahead. I was I was just going to say, but it all, it all, you know, adds up. You know, you're getting, you're getting content. Yes, sure, it's, it's clips, but that's, that's, that's no problem at all. That's, it's still content. People are watching it. People are liking it. People coming into your streams and obviously that's the main thing. And you've been doing really, really good for yourself, and you know I'm, I'm loving it, absolutely living for it, my dude. So yeah, I'm really, I'm very, I'm excited about the growth that we've had, mm. and uh, but it's just, it's just kind of been crazy uh, recently. At least it's been really, really going really well, I guess, mm-hmm. as far as people watching and following and subbing and stuff like that. It's been, been fantastic, and it's really. Uh, humbling i guess that people would come in i have a i actually have a a couple named the honkas well that's his name his uh twitch name but they literally come in every night a husband and wife i think they're you know 50 uh, they're older and uh and that's what they do in the evening is is come and hang out with me and i really i really like that it's it's very humbling that people would you know eat dinner with each other and watch me it's really cool but That's I really, so you know, woman. yeah, it's, it's so, yeah. it's cute too. Uh, but, uh, they got their little sweatshirts on and stuff like that. <laughs> little rev sweatshirt. Oh, it's, it, it's amazing. So, oh, that's, that's lovely. That is lovely. But it's, it's just a lot. I've really, really, really enjoyed it. And, you know, we always talk about kind of in chat, you know, where we've, where we've been and where we're going and, you know, partner of course is always a goal. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. But it's not anything that's going to make or break me continuing or not. You mm-hmm. know, I'll, I'm going to continue to do it as long as I can and enjoy yeah. the people that I do have. And really, that's all that matters. Well, that's it. I mean, p- partners, obviously, you know, for any kind of stream on, on Twitch, they, they it's the goal. But from the sounds of it, it's just it's just a bonus for you, which I feel is a good mentality to have because you're there for the ride. You're there to talk to people. You're there to have fun. And I think... That's what appeals to a lot of people, and personally, um, especially you know you know with the hunkers, which I love, I absolutely love that. It's just it's bloody brilliant. So keep it up, man. Absolutely keep it up, and you know I can't wait to to see how how it all goes out for you, my dude. I really can't wait. I appreciate that. I'd like that. to uh, say, folks, uh, if you don't know who Reverend is and haven't checked him out, I just posted his Twitch and his TikTok links in chat. Feel free to give him a like and follow. Absolutely. This guy is hilarious as hell. Yesterday he was, I don't know where he was, but he was playing, I think, one of DBO's maps. Mm-hmm. And he literally started shooting these foxes. And as he was shooting a last fox, I think it was a, a lion charged him. And <laughs> He pretty much tried to kill it and it knocked him on God. And the best part about <laughs> when he terrible. goes uncon is he puts up this screen that says be back in a moment or momentarily disposed. Oh, uh, what's it say, Rev? Uh be back soon, I think. Right. Yeah. It's a little hologram that you know, be back soon while he's unconscious, <laughs> so you don't see him coming in and out. And you can hear his buddies just running around screaming, trying to kill the lion. <laughs> and then what came after that? A tiger. It was like a tiger. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh Flying my into Lord. tigers and foxes. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Jesus. God. Oh my Lord. <laughs> okay, fair. Fair enough. I enjoy that stuff, though. That I mean, that's just kind of, I, I love that, and it just to make to make someone laugh, to be able to make somebody giggle is really what. It, oh yes. What I'm looking for, you know, looking for. It's really not. Uh, I try not mm-hmm. to take it too serious. That's for sure. <laughs> well, no, that that makes complete that makes complete sense. You just like like I said before, you're there for the ride, but you gotta have a laugh about it. You absolutely do, you absolutely. Yep. See, it's like that's one thing with like my kind of streaming is I can be quite serious and quite um, 
more informative. So if anybody's got any questions about a mechanic or something like that, I'll, I'll be more than happy to explain. But I find it very hard to make like comedy or humor or anything about or anything like that. So I've man, I've got mad respect for just you being able to do stuff like that. So brilliant. Cause yeah, I, find I appreciate that it. Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can't blame yourself, lad. You're British. It's dry. Oh, just... <laughs> not after you know I get done talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, behave. Was that one of those lines? I'm sorry. They just came out. I have diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. No, that's no, fine. It's fine. It's all right. It's all right. Somebody get some white wipes for him. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Dude wipes are better. <laughs> Hell yes, hell yes. So, obviously, you know, with the name Reverend, I I could only assume that that comes from um, yourself being an ordained minister. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I I sat down and thought, was trying to think of a name, and I was like, I have no idea. And my wife, Mm. my wife's like, why don't you just do Reverend? I'm like, okay. (laughs) And so that's where it came from. But yeah, I've been ordained for a few years now, and Mm. uh, really... Um, I did it to, cause I work a lot with middle school and high school kids right. at our church and, uh, was really wanting to be like a youth pastor and, you know, being late in life, it's kind of hard to change from having a, like a normal, a normal job that pays very well to go down to something that's, um, that doesn't pay as well, you know, right. trying to support the family and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And so it's just something I really just have always done on the side of you know, spoke at a few churches, some camps and stuff like that. But, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, really the, uh, my, my, I really enjoy doing wedding. I've done quite a few weddings and, uh, I think that's, um, really cool because it's just a memory that people will remember forever. And, uh, it's, it's fun to be a part of that and enjoy that. Nice. That's, that's, that's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I, I admittedly, I don't know as much as I would like about, um, you know, what a minister, what a minister does. So, um, it's really cool that, you know, you, you, you're talking briefly a little bit about, you know, what you've done. So how did that stem? Like, how, how did that, how did that start? Is it something, you know, going down that path, something that you've always wanted to do? Or is it just something that you thought later on down life? It's like, this is kind of like what you like, you decide change paths, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's something that I I just wouldn't say always. I got before, like I don't know, in high, high school is really where I started going to church and you know getting into all that stuff and really really wanted to be a youth pastor. Uh, I got and then we got I got married to the lady that I met in high school who really started uh, taking me to church and uh, I, you know, we got a house, we got married. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to pay bills, and uh, right. you know, so it was like. Well, we could put that on the back burner, you know, I'll go get a job and, and really haven't left, you know, factory work per se. Um, But, you know, that was always something that was lingering in the background that I I wanted to do. I wanted, I want to get this done. So, um, yeah, I did it. And, you know, I've helped quite a few different ministries and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Uh, Like we have a campus life here in, in our town, which is kind of like a school, they go into schools and have, uh, you know, they get together outside of school and whatnot. I've done quite a few of those. And so I'm still getting to do it, you know, kind of yeah. work with the middle school and high school kids and being able to speak life into them and whatnot. But uh, it's not, I don't think it's something in the cards for me, I guess at this point that that could be like a full-time thing where I would have my own youth ministry and, and mm-hmm. speak to them and, and kind of make that my job. But uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm not. How how do I put it? Let's say like I'm not a I'm not a religious person at all, but I have m- massive respect for anybody that is, and even more so for doing something like what you do. So you know that's that's really really great, and I can only imagine that you know you've inspired a lot of people in your life with doing what you do. So you know I'm. It's fantastic to hear somebody that does that. It is. <laughs> but um. But yeah, so it's uh, lemons. Have you got any uh, anything you want to know about um, Reverend at all? Um, 
not much. You kind of you kind of covered the uh, the broad spectrum there. But one thing that I think a lot of people might want to talk about or might like to talk about here mm-hmm. is uh, projectile Mondays. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I should coin that and, and trademark it or something because it's going somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, it's going up, man. We need to make like uh, t-shirts and plushies and all that stuff. I tell Fun. you what, oh, God. you look a at your name shooter. out of the corner of your eye one time. Just do a quick on in, on Twitch or something like that, and it looks like Projectile Mondays. All right, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> yeah. Put a space in there or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might want to. <laughs> that was the second most embarrassing time that I've uh that miswort or mispronounce mis- mispronunciation, I don't even know. But uh <laughs> I can't even speak or read, so uh that's funny. But well, there you go. if I can yeah. find the clip here. If I can find so the clip here, I'll pull it up. Oh my yes, gosh. Try, try it was so embarrassing that because I I want to I want to I want to play that. That's just that's great. Oh, yes, because yeah. I, I remember when we were talking about, um, you know, potential guests coming on, and Lemon's been saying, you know, the projectile Mondays for quite a while. So I'm. <laughs> I found it. Yep, I found it. Oh, oh gosh. right. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. Let's Send watch it over that, to me, baby boy. Oh, man. I mean, even my cat wants to hear it. It literally just walked up to me and is looking at the screen. It's oh, time, man. <laughs> oh, technical right, difficulties. Go. It's fine. Don't Should worry be about up now. It. All right. Can you guys see this? Uh huh. Cool, cool. I can't hear it. Oh, God. Oh, you can't hear it? No, no. Yeah, I'll do it. Send it to Lad. Yeah, just send it over to me. Oh, yeah. That's weird, man. Yeah, yeah, block that in the top left too. Just bear with, ladies and gents. Lemons has been exactly that a lemon. Projectile Mondays. <laughs> worth, it's worth the wait, folks. It's worth the wait. It's not, <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> not, it absolutely is worth it. What you're on about. Right. Let me just Don't be shy this. there, Rev. I mean, good thing they don't have the clip of the, of the other terrible mispronunciation. Should we look? No. Yes. <laughs> Somebody, get that clip up now. You need to make like a whole mock of every single one. You would have no more hard drive space, I promise. <laughs> we have the cloud. <laughs> It'd be worth every gig, man. Worth every gig. Uh, worth every gig. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's see this, folks. AFK. <laughs> I just mispronounced a, a name big time. It was a big one. It's not as bad I, as ran, uh, Ranchi. Well, it was pretty close. It's Project Lemons Daisy, but I pronounced it Projectile Mondays. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> it was bad. That, that's cool. It was really bad. That's called cool. Projectile Mondays. That's like a. That's actually a really good name. I thought so. I just. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Max for the subscription much 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 appreciated oh, thank you I forgot that actually both of them were in there so you got both of them <laughs> <laughs> two for the price of one heck yeah uh, <laughs> oh my god so that, that's 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 fantastic that's, that's absolutely brilliant I love that and now it's just stuck now it's just constantly it's gonna stuck. fall him to his grave man it's gonna fall it, him it, to his grave yes it will <laughs> It's awesome though. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh lordy lord! <laughs> I, 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 I called somebody the wrong name questions. for six what? months, <laughs> and they never said anything. <laughs> Selexify, thank you very much for the subscription. Much Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Uh, they're probably just happy we're calling them, trying to call their name out. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
I was actually going to say, uh, can you tell us a story about what made you want to wear a dress and that helmet on stream? Like, what inspired that kind of uh, ingenuity? I see. Uh, that is a good question. Um, to be honest, the, the helmet actually came from console. I had a, <laughs> a guy that I would always play with named Stonewall, and he loved, absolutely loved the Enduro helmet. Mm. And so it was always a thing of ours to, to wear the helmets and he would always call it the send it helmet. Uh, but anyway, so I would wear that all the time and it started with that. And then I would, I kind of fell in love with the character model that I, that I play and wearing any other clothing, but the dress never looked good to me. So I was like, well, I might as well just slap the dress on and the helmet. <laughs> and so there we are in game. Right. So, um, I don't know what somebody brought it up that after X amount of subs or something mm. that I would wear a dress on camera. And so I did. And it was an ugly lace black dress. I, is it yeah. hope Miss Reb didn't hear me say that because it was her dress. <laughs> uh, and it looked horrendous. And that. So, so I wore the dress, right? And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And everybody loved it. Right. At least I think. And then... <laughs> Um, so then one of my viewers named Fleetwood, uh, nice. he's a good friend. He, I'm actually going to meet up with him after this at the cabin. So, uh, nice. he, he actually made me the, a, a helmet and it's a legit helmet. He painted it up like the one in Daisy. And I was like, man, oh, wow. I got this helmet. I might as well just get the dress too. So I got on, uh, online and, and purchased the blue polka dot dress and mm. here we are. And I've That's always... Awesome. Yeah, I've always worn it in game, and and now I can wear it in person. Out when I mow well, my yard. That's an interesting point you brought up, though. You said it was part of a subscription goal. What is your newest subscription goal, and what are people <laughs> going to get if they hit it? Yes. Uh, listen, I, I didn't come up with this. So <laughs> I was just, you know, you heard me talking about it last night. I don't like puffing up subscription numbers. Mm. Uh, but anyway. Um, <laughs> somebody said if they if I get a thousand subs, I get. I absolutely hate ketchup. Okay, to to premise this whole thing, I hate ketchup. I don't like the smell of it. Right, uh, it just makes me gag. But anyway, so I guess the uh, bet was put out that if we get a thousand subs, I have to you know fill my mouth with ketchup and eat it oh. on stream. I guess so. I don't even think it's well, worth it. I'm, <laughs> no, but I'm, no, a, yeah, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word, and I'll do it if we ever get there. So. Oh, Everybody. fair enough, fair enough. We won't bring that subject up again. <laughs> yes, we will. Everybody, please sub to Reverend, please. Let's get him to a yeah. thousand. I'm actually doing a... Pro some, well, uh, go ahead. Gifted subs. Yeah. <laughs> so tonight, actually, uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, if I can get to work, an IRL stream at the lake, mm -hmm. and I'm probably I'm going to be waxing my leg, too, because we got 3,000 followers, and that was that was the goal for that, so... <laughs> Yeah, I put myself nice. in pain for everybody else's pleasure. You know, <laughs> this is the content. Sounds like regular TV. Way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. It's horrible. So, uh, so, so, yeah. So, okay. just uh, before a question that I, I want to ask you, just here's one from Michael uh, Weathers. Ask about the blended pizza. Oh, <laughs> that was the first. That was the dress stream. The very first one. Uh. I think it, I don't remember who brought it up, but I blended a piece of pizza and tried to drink it, and I threw up on stream. It was terrible. Thank you, Michael, for that question and and bringing <laughs> back that terrible memory. That sounds, yeah. and I apologize for swearing, fucking vile. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> it it was, and everybody's like, it's just blended up pizza, but no, it was it was really it bad. Is, it's, it was really bad. No. <laughs> that reminds me, there's a movie where. I think it was Arnold or was it some guy blends a pizza. I can't remember what movie it is, but it's hilarious as hell. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Don't ever do it. I don't suggest it. <laughs> Someone please do it again. Let's get Reverend to do it again for the uh, 1001 sub. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lordy lord. Yeah, I, I did want to. Go on, my dude. Okay. Uh... But kind of like a little bit off subject, but um, you're pretty successful as a content creator so far. You're doing really well for yourself and everything else. 
And there's lots of people who like to watch you. Do you have like anything that you'd like to tell people who are trying to become better content creators and probably rise to the level that you have risen to? Like maybe just a device or maybe just a funny tip? Um, yeah, I, there's quite a few times where somebody's asked and it's, and to me, it's like, it's a few simple things and it, well, it seems simple, right? Mm -hmm. But like, for me, this, and I can only talk from my experience is, and, and that is, uh, number one, uh, you know, just be, be yourself, be who you are and not who you think people watching you want to be, because, if you do that, right, if you if you try to, to impress everyone, you're not going to be talking to anyone hmm. because, I mean, it, people could see through that really quickly and you're not going to be happy. And if you're not happy, then you're not going to be somebody fun to watch. That's um, so that's one of the things. And the other one is um, just, you know, the game is secondary to your chat or your community or whatever. So, um, you know, I've... <laughs> reading whatever is put acknowledging whatever is put in chat is something that will you know make, they'll be seen they'll felt seen hold on alexa's going off anyway <laughs> alexa's <laughs> uh, listening but, too yeah i think <laughs> crap i'm i'm really getting famous alexa's talking to me uh but no but really it's it's all about the chat they're, they're, they're gonna make your community they're gonna make you uh either successful or not or what you know ha whatever i mean they're they're there for for you and you should be there for them and for me that's that's the key um you know everybody always says don't look at your viewer account which is important yeah i mean i don't i don't really pay t too much attention to it because then, then that will change your mood in my opinion <laughs> some people say turn it on some people say turn it off i don't like it because it just seems like uh, it, that's what you're focused on, right? So your mood's going to change dependent on how many people you have watching you. Hmm. Uh, but I mean, those are really things. A good microphone is a good thing. Oh, of course, um, yes. You know, you nobody wants to hear while you're talking. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money, really. It, no, it, you, really it's, you can get a decent mic for you know not too much. So, uh, yeah. but really, those those are the things. It's all about the community. It's all about you being you and play, play the games that you want to play, play the games that you enjoy. Uh, and you know, just be yourself is really all I can say. Nice. I mean, that's, nice. that's yeah. I mean, that's, <clears throat> it's some pretty fair, decent advice. I think because on Twitch, YouTube, or any other kind of stream platform, you know, there's, there's a lot of people trying to, you know, quote unquote, make it big. And they always put on like a fake persona and you know some people like it you know it's you know it's it's that kind of cup of tea you know outlandish and whatnot but sometimes and i think this is one of the reasons why i like your streams is that you are yourself you 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 present yourself how you would present anybody you know to anybody um and it's it's really a nice allure to your content and you know when things go wacky you know and go weird you embrace it, and it's like, I like this. I like this stuff. It's, it's great. It's really, really good. Real, and, recognize real. Mm, but, and I can understand for a lot of people trying to get to that stage is very difficult. But, you know, I'm, it's some pretty good solid advice, and I think I'll have to take some of that, actually. <laughs> gonna lie. Yeah, like, uh, was suspects. it DiGiorno or Leftover Pizza, chat says? <laughs> it was actually uh it was actually i think papa john's no product endorsement oh. but <laughs> that's what made it even worse i don't like papa john's pizza that's what it made it even worse oh lordy lord right uh, your audio is still low yes i am adjusting it now i adjusted it before right i've increased it by one half decibels on obs right and ha and <clears throat> you know um what was it um, you know, when we, you know, when we were talking about advice, uh, Riri Scott, you said, read people's names as twice to be sure. That's, 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 that's some good advice there. Um, having a schedule, that's a really big one. Would, would, would you agree to that? I would agree 100% with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they got to know when you're going to be on. Yes. I mean, well, that's it. I mean, I, personally, I'm just like, I stream whenever I kind of want to stream because I... Personally, I don't have a lot of time, uh, like during the week, very limited time because I'm 
you know, when I'm not at work, I'm either looking after family or I'm working on a project. So I personally couldn't be consistent, but um, I think there might be some cats trying to get in places that they're not meant to be if you hear anything in the background. So apologize for that. Just in case you... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, with the microphone, like, for example, this microphone I've got, it's like, what, 50, 60 pounds or something like that, which in reality is not an expensive microphone at all. How much did you spend on yours and what kind of microphone did you have? Um, when I first started, I got a, a Blue Yeti Blackout. It's like just, you know, a Yeti microphone. And, <clears throat> you know... I, I downloaded what was it called? It's like voice virtual, meter? yeah, voice meter. That's yeah. what it was. And you know, tinkered with that a little bit, just you know, to try to hide background noise and whatnot. Um, and now I got a, actually got a microphone sent to me. I'm not even sure what it is, uh, Audio Technica or something like that. But I did, I bought nice. one of the Go XLR things, and um, that thing. <sighs> For the money, it seems like a lot, but it's an amazing tool. It really is. You could control all the audio, all you know, game, Discord, mm -hmm. microphone. I mean, everything through that thing, and it's a really neat little little tool. But uh, that's that's currently what I have as far as that goes. But that what? Blue Yeti was ninety nine dollars, and mm. it was fantastic. I just I just nice. changed because I got this one sent to me, and I wanted mm -hmm. to try out the uh, XLR stuff. So. I mean, yeah, the, the one I've got is kind of like an XLR USB combo, so you can use either, but I use XLR. Um, <clears throat> uh, the whole FN Onion is asking, uh, is saying, ask Rev if Roger is with him. Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Show them Roger. What? Okay, what, what's Roger? It, like... <laughs> Let's talk about Roger for a bit. Then I wanna then I wanna watch this clip of the oh, um, no. the of the, the blended pizza. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, Roger. Who's Roger? Totally. You know, ever since I got this XLR thing, you can do like little voice changey stuff, you know, like Roger. Roger's here. Uh but uh <laughs> he's kind of like you know, I don't like be mean to people in game. I don't like a lot of times I'm kind of, you know, pressured to uh, take action on people that I may not want to be, want to want to take action on. And so I, you know, Roger is the person that takes care of the dirty work now. So I don't feel as bad. <laughs> so he's kind of like a second personality in a way, I guess. <laughs> Are you saying your Daisy character persona has a split personality? Yeah. 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 Roger <laughs> comes out when, when things get, you know, what is this when somebody the needs the when somebody has a gun that I want or needs to go away, Roger comes oh out gosh. and takes care of the problem. What is this? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde all over again. Yeah. Oh I'm, bit. I'm curious. Does Roger change like at a split moment or do you like run around a building and then turn into Roger or something? <laughs> I'm just curious. You know, a lot, a lot of times I get told to say things in the via Roger voice. Like, uh, what was it last night? I was playing with Dr. Scandalous. Who's, who was really fun to play with. Mm. You guys, you guys check them out if you don't on Twitch. Um, but anyway, um, so I guess I was, he, he was acting like he was some, a pastor or something like that. And uh, I was like, Roger needs help. And I would go back and forth and be like, hey, do you think, do you know any witchcraft doctoring? And uh, he's like, no. I'm like, well, crap, because I have a problem. Roger's here. He needs help. So I just do stuff like that. And, but I don't know. There was a that, guy in a shed hilarious. fighting a spider last night. And he ran in and the door was open and I closed it and uh, I, I just stood outside of it. I was like, yeah, I hope you die. Roger <laughs> really wants to eat you. So, I mean, it's I, I like was there stuff, for that. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's just <laughs> fun. It's something different. You know, oh, I don't gross. walk around talking like that because it's hard because if I'm talking in Roger voice, everybody hears it. So I kind of yes. turn it on and off as I go. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that is gold. That is brilliant. <laughs> I was when when somebody in chat was asking about Roger, I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah. He's new. He's new. <laughs> I almost thought somebody was there with you, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I thought maybe uh, 
<laughs> not your sprint Roger person. Roger kind of is like me like that, Yeah, he's the inner <laughs> me that really wants to kill everything, but he's not real too good. He's not too good at the game, so you know we can blame it on Roger if something happens. Oh yeah, that, that's that's uh, that's that's some that's some <laughs> that's good though. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> right, I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm really curious about this. This uh, this this clip. No, please don't. Oh, God. Oh. Mom, they're playing the clip of the pizza. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll 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 screen share this. So just in case nobody else in in this chat has the link. Wait, who sent this to you, by the way? Jordy in the son of podcast. A... <laughs> right. Okay. Where is my my mouse? Oh. Warning, this knob might be for, for the faint of heart. I think I do it. I right, can't remember. If, I don't. I think I throw a pop. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah. You do look at that know. beautiful dress. Oh, okay, my God. Go. I look terrible. Oh, no, no, <laughs> 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 That's horrible. That's horrible. But at least you have a magic yeah, bullet. We can turn that off. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm gonna rewatch it. <laughs> you watch it later. Uh, bookmarked. Sorted. In his fetishes. Oh god. <laughs> that toilet was messed up for a while after that. I, I can imagine. What's this six dollar ninety cents donation voice? Oh my gosh. Is that who was that? This is Jay's Opeds. All my secrets uh, are coming out. The whole well, FN look, onion, yes. I don't know if I could. Uh, I don't. I don't have it handy, but um, it. So Chewy is a guy I play with quite often. He. Right. When, I, got, I got home from work one day, and he sent me this very, very sensual <laughs> message about you know taking my dress off, and it was yeah. That's <laughs> you know I don't know if you've heard him talk, but he's got a very deep voice, and it's. Mm. A lot of the uh, a lot of the ladies like it, so um, <laughs> it was just it was something that he sent me one day. And I got home from work and listened to it, and I about fell over. Uh, <laughs> so that's the six dollar ninety cent donation. Um, yeah, I, I can't really. I I could probably send you the. Fo I don't know if I have it laying around or not. That's, no, that's perfectly fine. If if you don't have it on hand, that's perfectly all right. But I'll that find is, it. That is that is weird. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but it's, it's still good. It's Just still nice. It. <clears throat> a lot of questions coming in for you. Um, Colby Richardson, ask him about his favorite instrument, the recorder. Yeah, that stinking recorder. We, I, mean, I, I made the mistake once of putting a, a sound bit. You know, you can buy it with bits or whatever. Oh, yes, the yes, Titanic yes. flute, yeah. <laughs> so it has been requested. We pl that, that got played one night, I bet, 80 times. Oh. So much so that one of the viewers had an emote made of a Titanic sinking with, with my logo on it. <laughs> I mean, it, it literally, we got like a, it was like a 1,000% a level hype train just for using like a 200-bit sound Jeez. clip. And it, that's how many times it, I bet it was 80 times. It was probably 45 minutes straight of this stupid flute. Oh and, my uh, God. Yeah. So we have a lot of different instrumental flutes available now for bits. It was, uh, yeah. So there's a lot of them. There's some, some Toto on there and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Titanic song. I don't remember what else, but yeah, a lot of them, they like to mess with me and, uh, that's it scares good. me. Awesome. <laughs> that is good. That's good. It sounds like your community, not only do you engage with your community really well, your community also engages with you really well. Yeah. <laughs> you are yeah. their puppet. <laughs> I really am. I really oh, am. Gosh. They are me community. and I am them. <laughs> yeah. Speaking about your community, though, Onion in the chat said to ask about the success of the shipping container and its shower curtains. The shipping container? What was, yes, it? What was uh, the question? He said, ask, ask him about the success of his shipping container and his shower curtains. Oh, the shipping container. Is he talking about the time where I hid in the shipping container for an hour on the True Colors event? You did what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? 
Listen, all right. People don't watch me for PvP. All right. I did I did the True Colors event, the last one. Uh and I got I got shot and my leg broken right off the get-go, right? Right off the get-go. And my whole team left me for dead. <laughs> and uh so I traversed the entire map. What was it? What was it? Ban off was the map. I traversed oh, the entire gosh. map with a broken leg. Got all the way to the second zone thing. And it was like at a military base. And I didn't know where my team was. I didn't know where anybody else was. So I hid in a container, not meaning to be there the entire time. But it was an hour while everybody was being murdered around me. I was just sitting in the middle of a shipping <laughs> container uh, waiting for the sign to go. And, uh, it was, it was very, it was intense. I'm just glad I couldn't read chat at the moment because I'm sure they were, um, they were really giving it to me. So, but anyway, that came, an idea came out of that. You know, when I, when I do stream on Fridays with the camera on, Mm -hmm. I have this background behind me. Well, it's really just a, uh, it's a, it's curtains that Mr. Ev put up in the kitchen. That's where I sit. And... (laughs) Uh, they always call it a shower curtain. So one of my viewers uh, got me a shower curtain with a container on it and my logo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that hangs up behind me now when I stream on Friday evenings. It's just a big shipping container it. with my logo on it. That is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, it's a legit shower curtain though. It's pre- it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it. This Rev hates it because it's like the first thing people see when they come in the house is this big shower curtain with my logo on it. That's something to be proud of right there. Yeah. Yeah. Most people have a green screen. You have a shower curtain. It works. Yeah, it's just shower curtain. It's fine. Explain that to the uh must have been fun explaining that to the in-laws. Yeah, they're like, what is that? <laughs> Never mind. All right. So if it, yeah. I do have a, a, a lucrative shower curtain business if anybody's interested in one. <laughs> oh my god, an eighty seven point eight survivor FM shower curtain. Let's, yeah, you should get one. Cool. I'll get you one. You oh, can yeah. put it behind you. You know what, mate? Oh, I would I would be more than happy to do that. <laughs> I'd be more than happy to do that. That's, that that is great. There's just there's just so much people have been, you know, asking and it's all just brilliant. From from the way that chat has been tonight, you really do have an absolutely amazing community. It's I really do. It's so funny. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good community. Uh, Colby Richardson has asked, of all the towns in Daisy, which is your favorite and why? Uh, probably Electro, because it's really the only town I know. <laughs> is that uh, the only town you're ever in? You don't ever get out anywhere else. It doesn't seem like it. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, I tell my, my chat all the time, is like, I know the spawn areas very well. Outside of that, I don't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> on every map i know the spawn area is like the back of my hand but once i exit that area it's it's all over it's new territory for me <laughs> into the wilderness yeah i don't live very long most of the time mm. i mean that's that's a mood right there <laughs> yeah it is you know i actually um i, I like electro but i think one of my favorite my favorite town is pavlovo I think I like Pavlovo. It's a really good place. Then again, it's not nowhere close to spawn point, so you probably don't know what it is. So it's fine. I've been there a couple <laughs> times, maybe. Don't lie. Don't don't lie to us. We know where you. Um, we, we know what you like. Isn't there the gas shade, there now? The I stay away there from is, that. There is the, in the military outpost. There's permanent gas zone. Oh, it's just... I, this is normally this is normally how my my days go on Chinaris. It's Electro, to Staroy, to Novi, mm. to Starry, yeah. and then die in Cabanino. It's always, it's always there. I can, I can do that in my sleep. It's about <laughs> all a part of the map I know. <laughs> you ever thought maybe that's why you're always on the coast? You do it in your sleep. Probably. <laughs> I probably do better in my sleep. To be honest, oh, I can't shoot. Yes. <laughs> um, Vinny Vidi VC uh, 2007 is asking, what's your least favorite map? Uh, oh, jeez. It's it's a hard it's a hard uh, Livonia. I hate I absolutely can't stand it. I don't know why, but I, I don't like it at all. Wait, Namalsk ma- being number two, Livonia. Oh um, yeah, no, no. I, I had on very good authority by Michael Weather saying that you love Livonia. I hate it <laughs> with a passion. 
<laughs> I know the spawn towns very well there too. <laughs> no, but that's yeah, true. that's that in the mosque, man. I I don't know. I just don't can't. I don't know. I just can't get into it. <laughs> DOJ says ban this guy. All right, okay, all right, boss. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. See you later, Reverend. Well, it's been fun having you. I'm sorry, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, I just want to clarify on the whole DOJ thing. DOJ, you talking about yourself or Rev? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, lordy lord. And why do you kiss the feet of everyone you meet? I have no idea. I think you've actually done that with me the one time we played on Banner. <laughs> yeah, we did. No <laughs> it, 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 to be honest, it started... I, where, where did it start? Oh, I ran into Joito one time. Right. And I have like a thing where people tell me what to do. And that was like the first thing that came out of somebody's mouth. And I did it, and it started this whole, like, back and forth tension between her and I, and it was fantastic. And so it kind of uh, went from there. We do, we do it all the time now. Pretty much everybody we play with gets it at some point. Mm-hmm. And um, I've been shot in the back of the head while doing it a few t- by some random people. I had a lady, I'm not going to say her name because... She's still out there somewhere that, and I need to find her. <laughs> oh Lord! Uh, I, can't, I start. I tell you what, I've been looking all over for this Davina lady. I tell you, I met her once, and she ran away from me. <laughs> but I was trying to kiss her feet, and she said nope, and ran away, and never saw her again. So we've been looking for her for a long time, trying to wow. find her again. We that's must funny. resume the search. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy Lord, and but that's really how it started. It was like a right. cool interaction between Joey Toe and I. And then it just kind of stemmed from then. And then now it doesn't matter. It's just yep. like feet sighted. <laughs> yeah. Now everybody thinks I have a foot fetish. So I'm guess I'm going with trigger? that. I love feet. I mean, we all we all have our own, you know, little kinks and that. I ain't gonna kink shame. But that's how are your feet, weird. lad? You, you're not getting anywhere near them. Sunshine. All right. All right. <laughs> My my feet is a safe zone, all right? They they no. <laughs> no safe zones in Daisy. Oh shit, fuck you, Frank. <laughs> um now you did mention this um when we're offline, but chat has been going a bit crazy about it. Ladies' night. Please let us what what is ladies' night? Uh it, it is what it sounds. It's uh a bunch of ladies running with Rev, you know? Uh <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> And, and okay. <laughs> every once in a while, Abigail shows up. But uh, but really, it's <laughs> like we had talked about before. Um, you know, it's kind of neat to be able to get a bunch of ladies around that play DayZ mm. and uh, you know let them get to know each other a little bit and give them opportunity to create friendships and with them. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, I don't really mind being surrounded by ladies. So it kind of is. <laughs> it's kind of a good thing for both of us. But really, it's it's a lot of fun. We we go around and create some havoc and and just mm-hmm. hang out and have a good time. But uh, it really it really wanted to do it just to kind of get some of the you know the ladies in Daisy don't get a lot of love. You know, sometimes they get true. a lot of get a lot of uh, flack and you know whatever. Yeah. So I think it's neat to get them all together and be able to that way they could just you know make friendships and then they could play all you know with them. You know, I about said something that was would have been taken wrong, but they could play with each other. I did it anyway. They can play with each other, all, you know, whenever they want or whatever. And, uh, you know, maybe make a bond that maybe they they would have never met this person before. So mm-hmm. that's, very that's nice, very that, nice. that is really, really cool. Because, I mean, a lot of time, especially lately, and uh, now that I'm personally getting involved in the community a lot more, you do. So you do see, um, you know, posts um, from, you know, the lady streamers and whatnot in the community and content creators. And it, it is sad to see, but it's really, really awesome that you do have this environment where they can just come together. We can, they can just come and play. And Sunday Lemon Drop, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. But it's it's really nice that they can all come together and just enjoy the game. And it's really, really nice to hear. How often does this um? How often does this happen? I'm not too sure if I caught you saying it. Well, I I was gonna do it. Every week, but really, uh, that's way too much for my brain. Uh, no, but we've. I think we're gonna we're gonna start doing it probably once a month, and okay. uh, it, I'll put it in my Discord and whatnot. And right. uh, the ladies in my Discord have their own little channel. Uh, they have their own little. Uh, I get. What do you call the things that you give people? 
like the role right. little area where roll, they, can, they only have their little roles, roles yeah yes. so they can hang out where they can uh, just do what do lady things there's i guess <laughs> do people Her, things people things, yeah. yes no but that's that's really cool I, you, you never hear about anybody doing that so i've got a lot of respect for you awesome. so being able to well exactly it is awesome being able to enable um them to have their own little you know their own little space where they can they can talk they can play and you know be one with the community it's a lot more people should do something like that should yeah, really, really embrace I, them a lot more i'm just trying to find different ways to try to get people to enjoy day z together mm-hmm. you know and it it also i mean it's I don't want to say that it helps me, but it does help me too. But yeah. really my, my ultimate and my real, my real hope, my, the only reason I want to do it is just to kind of promote it. Da- get Daisy out there, have people play Daisy together. Cause I, I can't tell you how many times people come into the chat and they're like, I want to play with you. Cause I really don't have anybody to play with. Well, that kind of, that really bothers me because I hate, I absolutely despise playing Daisy alone. Uh, it it's really not a game. I don't and my, for me that I could play alone. Nice. Uh, I think it's all about playing with somebody else. Whether it's you meet someone or you you know somebody's planning on joining you anyway. Yeah. But and a lot of times I can't play with everyone that wants to play, and so I'm just trying to make different ways where people can meet each other. We do like a you know run with Rev. We're starting to do that now where anybody can join us and. Hopefully, from that friendships develop, and they yeah. can also go go and play. Uh, they have somebody to play with later. So, um, sure nice. just trying to make different ways for the community to you know get together and and play mm-hmm. and enjoy Day Z as, as much as I do. Well, that's it. And awesome. You know that that that's that's kind of like the main thing. You know, <clears throat> it's always key to a really successful community not just with, you know, with streaming or anything like that, but in general. And, you know, the fact that you enable that and you're coming up with more ideas to to help people come together and meet other people and, you know, friendships and relationships or whatever, you know, they, they, they grow from it. And it's really, really nice to see. It's, it's, I feel like I've been saying that a lot tonight. <laughs> because it is nice to see. It's, it's nice to, it's nice to hear that somebody is going out of the way to come up with these ideas, even if it's just yourself or with the community to do these kind of things. And, you know, you, you can tell it pays off because the love from your community, you can definitely see it in chat. And, you know, I've been checking out your Discord a little bit more just to see, you know, what people's been talking about, getting an idea for your community. And I always laugh every single time. Every single time, yeah. it's really, really great, and um, yeah, it's it, just like Sir Psycho ba- uh, Cycleberg says, and that's why we love Rev. He's kind hearted to everyone except for the ones wearing ponchos. Yeah, those poncho <laughs> people, you better watch out. God is coming <laughs> after you. Nice. <laughs> but well, that, that's a that's an interesting point talking about communities and everything else. Mm. Um, and you know, the people who come together around these content creators who actually try to make themselves about the community rather than just purely about themselves. Yeah. Um, speaking of, uh, you know, these content creators, one of them, uh, Ariana, or I think I said a name, right? Yes. The Ariana. We'll be, we'll be talking about her very shortly. Um, because it's, it is very interesting topic and I'd love to get your, your thoughts on that Rev. But before we do one more story I've got to ask you about, and I've, kept seeing this being asked sorry I haven't got around to it chat but now's the time please ask Rev the story of how a lady carried him around <laughs> for real it was my chair I have diarrhea uh, <laughs> good god oh, I gotta tell it oh man I gotta please everybody right um, who, who, who asked that one first um, I'm not too sure who asked it first, but the person who I'm asked banning it whoever recently, it is. Saw bomber sixty one. I can't ban him. He's a mod. Dang it! That's yeah, the cool. Canadian guy I was talking about. Lemon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway. From uh, Thunder Bay or uh, Windsor. When around that in Windsor area. Oh, nice. If you ever run into a D Wayne, don't kill him. Anyway. Uh, geez, oh Pete, I gotta talk about this lady that carried me around a club. What yes. are you drinking, by the way? Okay, I'll I'll we'll slightly deviate. It's a Scottish carbonated drink called Iron Brew. 
I got the extra version. Extra taste. No sugar. It's a bit of a running um, a running thing with the podcast. I, oh. I'm not too sure when it started, but I typically every podcast have a bottle of this. I take hydration seriously. Yes, carbonated water probably is one of the worst ways you can drink it. But <laughs> it's actually very good for hangovers. Isn't there a beer called Iron Brew in the States? I've, I don't know. I have no idea. Spe- it's speaking so- of beer, sure there's that's a how beer we get for in- everything. That's true. That's how we get into this lady carrying me. That's a good transition. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, God. So anyway... Uh, I don't even know how much of the story to tell. I probably shouldn't tell much. Anyway, I was in, a, I was at a, <laughs> me and the missus and some friends were out, uh, you know, having a good time at a club and, or at right. a, uh, what do you call it? Disco. Right. Um, okay. And, uh, yeah, well, anyway, I happened to, st- I stepped on somebody's shoe on accident trying to get through and it was this big man. He was massive and right. he was really mad at me and his lady obviously was mad at him. And this, I'm a little guy, right? I'm like right. five seven, 130 pounds. I'm not a big, I'm not a big guy. Right. And um, this lady, I bet, was any every bit of three hundred and probably six foot tall. And she picked me up over her shoulder and put me in this little thing up that's like a, a elevated platform at this club. And we <laughs> danced the night away together in front of her her boyfriend who was mad about her his shoes and then continued to carry me from club to club for probably a good four hours like I was her pet. Um, oh, my it God. It was a fantastic evening, and uh, I wish I had pictures to share, but I burnt them all. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, now she's your wife, right? <laughs> no, no. My wife was laughing so hard, and she really enjoyed my pain, I think. But I didn't think – I thought she was going to take me home. Because uh, she would not let me get five feet away from her, and yeah, I was scared for my way. life at few po- at few times. I was scared, but he didn't want to make sh- you didn't want to make her mad. Maybe put a collar on me. I don't know what she was gonna do, but it it was oh it was my. one of the moments that I'll never forget in my life. That is- so how'd you get out of it then? How'd that uh, how'd that go? Um, we snuck. I, I said I had to go to the bathroom, and we left. Oh. You didn't leave. I, you I ran. Run. Yeah, I ran. It was bad. It was really bad. You'd that never was, known speed like it. You were just. That was the, yes. That was the first time in my life I thought I was gonna die, and, like, and probably the only time. Oh my! Oh my! Yeah. So there's that story. Thanks, whoever brought that up. I appreciate that. It was embarrassing. That was almost as bad as a blended pizza. All I can imagine is just. <laughs> You just being picked up and plonked on this platform. Just yeah, like, it was just, one just... arm. <laughs> I mean, this lady was strong. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she's carrying me around over her shoulder, one armed, not picking me up by two. It was just one and flinging me over her shoulder like a bag of potatoes. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Did and you not say anything to them? What was I gonna say? She, she probably would have hurt me. I just enjoy. I mean, it was fun at first, and then it got scary, and then it's like I'm gonna die. So it that sounds went, like a good Christmas story. There was a few phases of the night, you know. It was like, oh, this would be kind of fun, you know, just to put her every at ease. Emotion. Yeah, I felt everything. It went from it went from being a joke to being like, I don't know what's happening to being like, oh my God, what I is think, that? I think I might be getting kidnapped tonight. Yep. yep. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I'm, I'm not so, a mean, I'm not a mean person, you know? I was like, well, you know, we'll just appease her for a little while. And I don't like to say no. Called Roger, man. Should've yeah, well, Roger. Roger didn't exist then. <laughs> he he would have been like... He would have, he would have told that lady like, "Man, you better get your woman under control." <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what Roger would have said, but I, Roger wasn't oh there. Oh my gosh. gosh! There's a child's book out there, folks. That you need to buy a rap. It's called "Just Say No." I can't. <coughs> I can't. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Poor lad, trying to take his inhaler. <laughs> Did I give you an asthma attack? Getting that. A little bit. That's a Maybe huge ass more... inhaler if this iron brews the inhaler. <laughs> oh my yep. god, my eyes. Yeah. But I don't know. Roger may have been like, like I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> but who knows? I don't know. He wasn't there. So 
before we jump in to like the main the main meal tonight, the main content, I did yeah, have one question. Holy shit. I was hoping to ask you, Raven. Well, Lad kind of gets his composure here. Um, oh. You're very active on Twitch. You've got a following on Twitch, on Twitter, on TikTok. But I noticed that you haven't done a lot of content on YouTube. Is that something you've thought of trying? Like making some sort of short form content on YouTube or... Yeah, I I have. Uh it I don't I've just I was talking to Lad about it before. Uh it's just, a lot of it is I'm not very technologically smart, mm. I guess. I could say in a, in an easy way. Um I've I've had a few different editing softwares and whatnot and uh tried to, you know, cut and whatever all of the stuff you do for, to make a video. Um but I I I I come I come to the realization that I didn't have a lot of time. Right. So it's like do I edit or do I stream? And really for me I get I have more I enjoy streaming more. It's more of a live interaction. Uh I want <laughs> I really truly want to get more stuff on YouTube. Um I try to do some like short ones that are a little bit easier. I mean right now I just sometimes up upload some basic clips or whatever I thought was funny. Kind of like I do on uh, TikTok, but uh, I'd like to get more into that if I had time. And I think uh, I'm going to try to make time, but it's just it's hard with you know, working you know 50 hours a week and having kids and sports and stuff like yeah. that to be able to sit down and yeah, really sure. put effort because then something's got to something's got to be sacrificed, and it would ultimately be the stream. And I just I don't I don't want to. I mean, would it would it help me? Would it boost me a little bit more? Probably. But I just don't want, reward, though, right. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. stop streaming because I really, really. I mean, that's. I love it. I really do enjoy it. I really. I, I like making people laugh. I like being. You know, I've had. I've had really long, um, serious conversations with folks off stream <clears throat> that may be having some problems in life and stuff like that. And yeah. so I think to, for me right now, that's the most important thing. Maybe you know, YouTube will come different come later or maybe i can have somebody make youtube videos i did have uh um what uh, mx he's he's made a few videos that are on there uh for me from some different clips and whatnot through my streams so right um, maybe i can find somebody to do that for me i don't know i mean the market's always there there's always going to be somebody who will be willing to to put in that effort to help so maybe it's it is something you could probably consider and i think it would be beneficial especially um because, I mean, <clears throat> even though TikTok and such is really, really popular, not everybody uses it. Like, for example, I don't. Um, so having a platform which is readily available for even your clips would be really, really ideal. YouTube's the main place. A lot of people do it. So I, I, I think it would be good to dip your toes I into it say, and get into it. Yeah. Uh, Twitch has a built-in feature, I'm not sure if you know, Rev, where you can actually export your clips directly to YouTube from Twitch. Yeah, I've seen that. And um, the only thing I, I, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but when I do that, it seems as though they, they transfer over to YouTube poorly as far as quality goes. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's something I'm doing. I have to look more into that. I mean, it, I, it could I've, be something you could look into, definitely. Yeah, um, absolutely. Especially considering your community, you know, there must be someone in there that would be willing to help out with that. Easy. Exactly, that's so, what I was thinking. Yeah. You got a lot of people that support you, you know. That's really, that's awesome. I wish somebody would support my bloody chest, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you want me Sorry, to hold I, you up? Yeah, you're definitely going to need to call some. <laughs> really taking an inhaler. I put him into an asthma attack from my story. I feel terrible. Look, <clears throat> look. I'm still. I've mostly recovered from COVID, but my chest sometimes still gets bad. So, uh. <laughs> I don't know why you're apologizing, lad. If Rev puts you into a asthma attack, we can use that as clickbait. Content creator classes <laughs> podcaster. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Christ. there goes my there career. Go. Well, <laughs> well, what can I say? Rev is truly breathtaking. Oh yeah. Tell me more. I mean that no. logo. <laughs> oh, yes. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick... I'm going to... Wh where's my bottle? I'm going to take a quick sip from my big-ass bottle. Two liters, by That's the way. That's just real inhaler. 
That is the true <laughs> inhaler. It's 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 not that shit. It's this shit. <laughs> Please. We need to have like an me. Iron Brew giveaway. We I think have, so. Like, an Iron Brew giveaway on the stream, man. Just give away <laughs> a pack of them. No, a no, I. Somebody. I will rig it so only I win. <clears throat> Just send them the empty bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly used, yeah, okay. <laughs> but um <clears throat> but yeah, so it's been fantastic having you on so far, but there's there's quite a few topics that I want to discuss as well that are based around the days community. And I would love um for you to stick around and um and give you feedback on it if that's something you're you're willing to do. Because I know not everybody Yeah has the time for stuff like that but very nice just let you make sure um so dump mentioned it just briefly a little bit while ago and i'll move on to the second screen just so the viewers can a terrible uh, temper transition <laughs> it's <laughs> shush your Fuck face all out. <laughs> Sh shush your face you little you, you little shit but um <clears throat> But yeah, so I, I couldn't find the original person who made the tweet, so I do apologize. But I just want to say that um, the 87.8 Survivor FM has donated towards this Just Giving. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how much was done it. Boydy went ahead, ahead and done that, so you know, props to him. But I'm not sure at Facebook for fit. Fuck off. <clears throat> so. Just for people who um, are listening only, I'll read out the um, description for this just giving. Hi everyone, you probably don't know me, but I'm certainly not the awesome person I mod for. She's been an integral part of the Daisy streaming community since joining Twitch over six years ago. <coughs> God, I wish my chest was so... <clears throat> She's collaborated with everybody, sorry, with everyone from people who have been there since the beginning, right the way to complete newcomers. She's managed to strike the perfect balance between making every single person who enters the chat like they've been there for years, and are running some massive events. Certainly, although have <clears throat> having only been involved for a little over a year, I've met some people I can truly call close friends because of her and her channel. I'm certain I'm not the only one. Yet this year, she ran the most successful event in Daisy history. This is due to be a running sequel in August and it promises to be even better, which I absolutely cannot wait for. I really, really can't wait for. I missed the first one. I think I was at work um, or sleeping. It was one of the two because of time zones. So hopefully <clears throat> I can catch the second one. I think that takes place in August um, for the sequel. I am, of course, talking about my good friend, Ariana. Unfortunately, times are tough right the way around the UK. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> and beyond, and like most people, she's really feeling the pinch. Yep. There's been a conversation happening over the last few weeks and months about her possibly finding an alternative main income. This conversation has gotten a lot more real over the last few weeks. Unfortunately, with family obviously needing to come first, her getting a job would mean her giving up streaming in its entirety. She has recently advertised on Twitter that a PC is for sale. I'm trying to figure out if there's an alternative. You, the Daisy community, have always rallied around our own. This has been shown time and time again. If anyone is deserving of some of that support, it is definitely Ariana. This is why I have created this Just Giving page. Any donation you can give will make it that little, best, little bit less likely that she'll be selling her PC. This will allow her to continue doing what she loves, streaming and putting on awesome events for the community here to enjoy. <coughs> As a final note, I have to say a little disclaimer. Whilst we obviously appreciate any donation you can give, we also understand that most are also feeling the same pinch. Please only donate if you can afford to, and only donate what you can. Thank you all, Wilkins too. And it has surpassed the goal. Which I was so goddamn happy to hear. And I've just realised I am so goddamn pale. Looking at the preview, oh my god, it is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> You're a flashbang. <laughs> I just got, I got flashbang, guys. Like, oh my lordy lord. Right, okay. Brightness, zero. Right, I can't see anything now. <laughs> ah, gosh, I'm blind. But no, I, I've been keeping on a track of this Just Giving page. And I was so, so happy to see, you know, a lot of people 
have been, you know, donating um, £175 here, there, um, <clears throat> 50 20 10 Quite a few anonymous people who's done it. £200, £100. It's absolutely fantastic. And it does go to prove that people in the community really do come together to help our own. It's really, really awesome to see. How much do you know about know about this rev? I'm pretty sure you might have heard something about it. Yeah, uh, I've actually, you know, yeah, you know, been part of that. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really cool to see. I, I tell you, I say this all the time, and I really do believe it that the Daisy community, honestly, is is the best community in gaming around. Um, I truly believe that because, like, if you look at Call of Duty or any other games, really. I mean, there's no other community like those in the DayZ community. Whether you're a streamer, whether you're a, a avid player or a viewer, it's truly, it really is one of the best. And um, and you see this all the time, like he was saying in that description. You know, there's so many times that people have been struggling, and, you know, everybody that plays the game or you know, what is involved with the game usually gets involved. And... Um, Ariana is amazing person. And mm -hmm. that, like that castle event that she held the Queens of the castle. I tried yes. to get in it. She said, no, but, um, <laughs> I wonder why, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was amazing. And she has given back and given back and given back for so long. And I think it's, it's really cool to see people, you know, rally around her and, and, uh, yeah, help her mm -hmm. out. It's, it has been <clears throat> lovely to see, and there has been a few, you know, negative people talking about it, which I don't want to give too much attention because it's just there. You don't need it these days. You know, there's enough, there's enough going on in the world that we need quite a, quite a bit of positive positivity. So when I saw earlier today, um, when I was on the way to work, I saw that it surpassed the goal. I was, I was so happy. I was nearly in tears and I don't know why it was like, it was just so heartwarming to see something like something like this. It wasn't even organised by Ariana. She was not expecting it whatsoever, you know. And this happened. And <clears throat> I hope, hopefully, the money that's generated really does go well for her. But you know, Lemon Stump, what do you think about it? Well, honestly, I think I'm happy about it. The thing I'm happy about most is not only is the community rallying to help her in this time of need. <laughs> which is very, very heartwarming. But the thing that makes me most happy about this is her posts after. And the posts, like we were talking about, real recognizes real, right? Yeah. They're not fake. They're not artificially made. Like on the 24th, she posts about how she is so happy about this and that within two days of this going up, it fixed her life right now instead of her having to give up her what she enjoys. She can now you know, look for that perspective jobs and stuff to be able to keep mm -hmm. doing what she's doing. And it's cool because I guess for lack of a better word, sum it up, she's humble. Yes. And that's what I really appreciate about it is that she was willing to sell her PC, not looking for a handout. She didn't do any of this. It was one of her modders and the community rallied around it so much. And yeah. then she just shows her love and support and is humble about it. And I appreciate that. Exactly, exactly. What about you, Lemons? You've been you've been awfully quiet, my boy. What's going on? I'm listening, What's... you know, I'm listening, but <laughs> I have to agree with Umcraw, you know. I yeah. really do. The community on Daisy is a special one. Mm -hmm. Like we've been saying throughout this uh, episode, it's just something special on both platforms, PC and console. You get a lot of good people, that some of which even become lifelong friends with. As we heard with yes. Reverend, he's going to see one of his friends. Um, Daisy friend right, right well after the stream mm -hmm. going over the camp with that so you, you find so many good people you know you find so many nice people and to see that we're able to come together and support people in need like this or when they're in need I just my heart goes out to them you know mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. and I'm <clears throat> I'm just looking forward to what Ariana is going to accomplish in the future now that we that she hopefully will be able to continue with all this mm -hmm. because Seeing what happened with Queens of the Castle, I can't imagine the success is going to happen with her next event. So no, not without her. Absolutely not without her. And yeah. that, and that's the thing. It's like I know before she she put out the tweet about her PC, she was you know she was 
getting, you know, asking people on Twitter what would be the best option, you know, because she was thinking about the job and then the streaming. And I actually said financial stability over er er anything, which could potentially mean that you do give up something that you enjoy. Um, you know, I'm feeling the pinch and something like that. And, you know, as much as I, I, I like DayZ making content, making mods, it's not a viable it's not a viable income. Whereas the job that I do, I don't like it, but it's financial stability. And I was encouraged that because it allows you to, to work on yourself, to save up for something, to maybe down the line, to secure something you want to enjoy. So when, you know, I put this on Twitter, you know, she liked it. I could only assume that she understood what I meant, which I was, I was, I was happy for. But when I saw this tweet, and I saw this just giving. It reminded me that not everybody out there is an asshole, <laughs> to put it plainly. Yeah, and exactly. I I can't wait for the Queens of the Castle event too. I really can't wait for it. And seeing, you know, the positive um response from herself has been really really, really great. Now I, I believe it's still going up. Um you can still give. So what I'm going yep. to do is I'm going to flashbang myself in the process, but if you guys want to go ahead and give, does you, <clears throat> if I can get me words, you don't have to spend a lot of money, just anything that you can do um, to help Ariana out. Yeah, sure, it's, it's met the surpassed um, target, but absolutely, guys, you know, take care of it. Get yourself... Um, at least check it out or at least share it. If you're not able to financially do anything, share the link around, get the story going, and every little helps. She yeah. would shoot everybody in oh. the face. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> but... Echoing the words of uh, Boad here in the chat, he says, Daisy has seen so many people come and go with so few constants that remain from the beginning. Mm -hmm. She's one of the few that have stuck around and been an integral part for the growth of the community. I, I totally absolutely. agree with that. Yeah, absolutely. Totally yeah, same. That. And, and and that's the thing. It's like, as an example, I couldn't imagine Daisy community without, without say, the Running Man's or Warble. That period where Warble wasn't around was the dark times. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, you know, we have seen a lot of content creators come and go and some have made really great, you know, impacts to the community. And it's never nice seeing anybody leave for any reason. Um, so hopefully this uh, keeps her going. It gives her an extra push. Um, I really do hope, you know, the best for her. You know, if she ever sees this, um, I know, I hope, you, I hope you're doing okay. And, you know, we all love and appreciate you. And that will always be the case. So absolutely fantastic. Really, really awesome job to the community and herself. So... Very nice. Like I said, there were a few naysayers, but you're always going to get them kind of people. I was. We're I was not going to focus on them. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So just got to stick positive, guys, and help each other. Take it off the chin. T take it on the chin and be like, oh, you want to fight there, mate? You want to fight? Ah, oh, fuck that. Can't be honest. Roger will take care of him. If Roger will fucking take yep. care yeah, of him. There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, Roger, please help me. <laughs> but, uh... Ask Rev about... Yes, actually, yeah. I want to slightly deviate from our normal thing because I, I absolutely... Sorry to, to, to dump on them to know we typically... But since I, I... You know, I was a developer on XTK. You know, I worked on quite a lot of different things. I was with um, Kafina and McKee and that. The role playing PvP servers, especially the extra care. Colby's asking about that. What was you had a lot of dog tags from what I remember, from what McKee said. <laughs> I had bags and bags of dog <laughs> I had people going into raids to get me wood to make a fire in in the safe zone. Uh I don't what's I don't know what started it. I think it was it was MX and X Bomber like, you know what we should do? We should go onto this server and just make a fire in rp on this pvp server mm. and that's what we did and i had so much fun uh just sitting there with a campfire and meeting a bunch of different people and you know giggling with them 
so many people are like, what are you doing on here? You know, you should be out shooting people. And I'm like, no, no, this is what we do. This is fun. <laughs> I, it, but it was, it was fantastic. And we did it for like, a, you know, a few weekends in a row, three or four weekends. And mm. we just sat there with a campfire and it, it, we actually set up a camp out in the, uh, what, whatever you call it, the, the zone ones. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right by one of the exits. And, uh, <laughs> we had tomatoes and everything. <laughs> it was fantastic. Uh, but I just, that's just, I love that. I love that interaction. And even on a PVP server, I run around mm. uh, V++ and talking with people. I've sat in a building and talked to somebody for 20 minutes one time <laughs> on there. But it's, I just like it. It's fun. And mm. people don't expect it. And I think it kind of breaks up the monotony of going out and dying or getting killed. And yes. uh, it makes it less toxic. Because that was one thing I wanted to do was like, you know, traders and stuff like that are usually the most toxic places in DayZ. And I was like, well, maybe we could like tone it down and, and calm people down. But people were giving me dog <laughs> tags like crazy. I had probably three bags full of them. That's a lot of death right there. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't kill a person. I told everybody I killed every one of them, though. Oh, uh, you know, that was Roger. That was Roger. Yeah. Yeah, Roger did. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I, I remember when McKay was telling us about it in the, in, the, in the guest chat about the dog tags. It was like, oh, shit. Yeah, because obviously we used to do the alpha runs. And I would always recall there'd be the tracksuit boys and, and you know another party doing the um, having the campfires in 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 the in the trader city. So quite I'm quite happy that it was you. So that's that's class. That's absolutely yeah. I bet brilliant. I bet people spent thousands and thousands of dollars buying me dresses and uh, <laughs> cooking pots because people would steal my cooking pot to go sell it. But it was good. It was a good time. Oh my god, bloody bloody bastards. <laughs> oh no, dude! <laughs> but th th those were good times. Those were really, really good times. Kind of, yeah, them, I agree. But... Oh no, dude! Lord. But now going back on back on track, I just had to ask about that. You know, called be asked about it, so I just had back to. Back to our scheduled programming. Uh, back to our scheduled programming. <laughs> yes. So something that has been going on since the start of Reforger, but more so since the start of the XP, um, for one eighteen. The servers have took a massive shite. What is going on there? I've been trying to look into as much information as I can find in, what was it, the weekend just gone. There was like, what, one server on PC for uh, Daisy Experimental. And Same on Xbox. And, and, uh, oh yeah, don't... Oh yeah, and, and those guys, yeah, and them, you know, them, yeah, Xbox, but... <laughs> it's... I know, I, know, I know it's experimental, but this is very unusual. Something must have happened. You, and like I said, I tried to look into it and I haven't found much information. Um, what's your experience has been with Experimental so far in regards to that, um, Rev? Um, we, I, we've played Experimental a few times, but most mm -hmm. of the time when we do, we played on the community servers. Makes sense, uh, yeah. Because I don't like third person all that much, even mm -hmm. if it is Experimental, just to try it. But... Um, I've not really had too many issues as far as like getting in and getting kicked out mm -hmm. or anything like that. Uh, but I've really enjoyed the, uh, we really haven't found any, we found a Claymore the other day, but don't know how to use it. So, uh, <laughs> that was outside of a spawn town. Even I made it to a military zone, but no, I've, I've really enjoyed it. But, um, yeah, I, I noticed that when I went to uh, log in that there wasn't very many, um, uh, just regular regular servers mm -hmm. to, to join. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I've been playing on a particular server, which I'll be talking about at the end of the stream for Experimental. And it's been it's been fun. There's been no issues. But I did try on official, and it was just... It, it was a bit of a mess, to be fair. And I was I was quite disappointed with BI. They dropped the ball in this one, I think. Um, I had, like, how, how did it pass QA? It was clearly not ready to be on the servers. Absolutely not. Like, sure, the content's great, but what's the point in the content if you can't Emphasis even put it? Emphasis on experimental. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not an excuse. <laughs> I demand perfect server run times. <laughs> no, but if a community server can do it, they certainly can. And I know daisy has been known for their server issues for many years. But no, they really, really did drop the ball in this one. Something must have changed in the back end for it. Um, 
no idea though no idea what what um yeah. you know lemons you have you been playing experimental on console yep yep and it's been the same issue across the board mm. i know i'm uh well playstation doesn't have experimental i was about to say i know <laughs> on playstation but they don't have <laughs> but i know on uh i know on xbox there's been some issues with servers not being up and even even official we've had a, <laughs> we've had issues with just normal official off experimental with those being up as well so yeah i'm not sure if all of the servers on xbox are hosted specifically through nitrato or if there's some other stuff that daisy does on their own for the experimental side right. but i can definitely say that there has been issues and there's also been issues recently with nitrato servers so you kind of connect the dots there if they made a few press releases recently saying they've had their own back-end issues with some of their uh, yes. hardware there so a lot of people have kind of tried to connect the dots <laughs> yeah that, that makes sense that makes sense <clears throat> what about you what about yourself dump i know you've been busy with modding reforger but have you managed to actually play much much of experimental if i can actually bloody say it <laughs> yeah i played a little bit of it um as you well know i pretty much play on my own test servers and stuff yeah. uh for learning um but I think I think uh, that might be it. It's interesting though that a community servers on PC can have little to no issues with experimental, but official does, which makes me again like uh, Lemons was saying maybe it's a server issue, like Scale Speed was also saying, because it seems like this issue appeared not necessarily right as experimental was pushed but like probably after an update from experimental i remember them having an update and then the servers having issues so i do wonder if maybe there's some back-end thing that officials have that community servers don't have access to maybe maybe um all i all i hope because i think at the moment they've kind of stabilized a little bit but i'm not too sure um mm -hmm. but i do hope that yeah well, <laughs> that's a positive i do hope i do hope that uh they get back to normal because the last thing people want is mm -hmm. if the ser servers are unstable like properly unstable you can't even get on them and they don't stay up for experimental what they're going to be like for stable you know people's been well, clamoring I mean, to get back on it stable i mean so, i hope to god bi sees that they have an unstable server configuration or whatever and mm. they better not push it to stable with this problem if they do they're shooting themselves in the foot well that's it absolutely yeah so i'm hoping fingers crossed that they actually get the shit together um yeah. but we'll, well see. i imagine too i'd imagine too if it's a specifically a hardware issue if they were to push this out to stable we may not have this issue on stale. May just be the ones they're hosting, like the actual hive that they're hosting on experimental. Mm -hmm. So it depends on whether it's the actual update itself or it's the hardware that they're running the servers off of. So well, they better I'm... address that issue before they push oh, it. Oh, either way, and let people know. One hundred percent. Because in the future, if they continue to put up experimentals and we can't properly test it. There could be issues that come out to stable because we can't address these or test them <laughs> properly because we don't have access to working servers, you know? Yeah. And then that's when we have the issues where there's big bucks that came out that people thought that these are, like, things that should have been caught, you know? So. Well, that's it. I mean, that's it. Just to state this, that I, I keep hoping they put out experimental uh, servers, even if they have stability issues, because I would hate for them to just start pushing stable updates without actually testing because they oh, can't keep the experimental servers. Yeah. That'd be bad. Yeah. So yeah, keep pushing the experimental server stuff. Let them break. It's okay. That, that, that's fine. <laughs> it's part of the experimental it's, stuff. It's a bit of banter. It's just a little bit of banter. <laughs> Lordy lord. But, I um, wood. <laughs> no, come wood, yeah. But, you know, apart from the server issues, I've, um... I've enjoyed 118 so far. Um, I'd like I said, I play on a specific server for my 118 experience because I, I like to just take it in. Like I play, I know like Rev, you you said um, you said earlier that you know you like playing in a group, which is great. I prefer playing alone solo because uh, I like I like to take the atmosphere and the ambience or whatever the hell they done with the ambience in. You know, it's it's blissful. Especially when a bloody artillery strike hits your town, but that's fine. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> it happened to me the other day. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, mate, I was, um, well, on the server I was playing on, <clears throat> I was pretty tired. It was a long day and I, and I logged in. It was pitch black. It was nighttime. I didn't realize the server had a dark setting. And all I saw on my, on my screen was, um, you've been moved because, you know, the town's been hit by a toxic zone. But it was pitch black. I couldn't see where I was looking and I couldn't see the gas cloud. And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Which way do I go? And I'm, I managed to head the right way and I turned around and I realised I was next to Gorka. And I was like, oh shit, I was so close to walking into that bloody thing. <laughs> oh, it was it was great. It was it it was it was absolutely brilliant. But um, nice. I know I was talking to uh I know I was talking to Brad a few days back and he thought that for the longest time that the contaminated events were based off of player proximity just because of how frequent it happens and it's not just like a random event and he he thought that it spawned just based off of where the player was and you know i don't blame him i don't blame him. It, it gets pretty lucky sometimes it gets pretty mm. lucky sometimes well unlucky for the player but yes i can i can imagine um i, I need to uh i need to load this up uh Probably should put earplugs in. No, let's uh, wow. let's not. Let's ladies, not put... earmuffs, earmuffs, ladies. <laughs> Give me some sugar. All right, okay. <laughs> I just listened to the first second of it, and that is just tastefully amazing. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, just give me give me a second. I need to quickly deviate again from the main topic. I need to get this set up for the stream. Um, <laughs> this is going to be great. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Sh if, like if you didn't if you didn't want it on, you shouldn't have sent it to me, there, boy. I've been looking for it. <laughs> uh, sugar. All right, local file. <clears throat> Where are you, my boy? This is going to be amazing. Where is it? There we go. Mm, God damn. All right. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I, I recommend actually, which, uh, so I'm, you can tell I'm a bit of an amateur trying to, to, right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to share my screen. And I hope the audio comes through for everybody and the stream. I hope it does. Let me know if it doesn't. Is uh, is everybody watching or listening? I am. Lemons? Yep, yep. Oh no. <laughs> It's not coming through. It's not coming through. Oh, oh no, dear. it is. I could hear it. No, no, it's not yeah, coming through it. for... Oh, oh the uh, oh, Lift off your red helmet, revealing your moist and sweaty hair. <laughs> I run my hand up the small of your back and slide your rev dress off your soft and feminine shoulders. I pull you close to me, whisper in your ear, Thank you for them bits. Now give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> mm, I blush every time I hear it still. Oh, God. Yeah, give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> it reminds me of that song. You know, I get weak in the knees. Sugar, yes, please. <laughs> oh, my God, that's cold. I love it. I'm keeping that. <laughs> every time the, the going gets tough, I'm just going to listen to that and realize everything is perfect in this world. I'm telling that you, Chewie has a... He's got a talent. That needs to be the new bits notification, man. It's got to oh. be the new bits notification. <laughs> I, I couldn't I couldn't use it. No, Rev's all, that's taken by Rev. Oh, for Rev, for Rev. Oh, yeah. you think I should use that every time? <laughs> oh, yeah, every time. <laughs> One bit. Mm, give me some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I would be hearing that the whole time. I would be able to con concentrate. <laughs> Perfect. All the more like reason the, uh, to do it. like the Titanic flute again. Oh, yeah. my God. I might get no, a hype no. train off of it, though. Have it as your transition from your starting soon screen to your gameplay. <laughs> there you go. Give me some sugar. 
Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. That's, that's funny as hell. That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> I was not expecting that when I was listening. I told you it was good. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's good. hilarious. Oh my god, if uh, if Boydy um does the video for this stream, he's uh, he's gonna have to make that a clip. <laughs> he's gonna have to make it a clip, or somebody else can. Oh lord, hydrate it, hell yes. But uh, what were we talking about before? I was uh, seduced by Chewie's voice. <laughs> One point eighteen stuff you 1. like. One point eighteen experimental. Oh yeah, I don't care yep. about that. I want to listen to that thing again. <laughs> okay, that's what we're gonna listen to the rest of the podcast, folks. Just that. On yep, repeat. That, that's it. I'm I'm good. You can no, have but... it for background. <laughs> Just constantly. Hold set on, the mood. like ambiance. Yeah, you know, set the mood. <laughs> set the mood. That'll be our new intro music. Oh yes. <laughs> oh gosh. There you yes. Go. Oh yes. But um. <laughs> yeah, one point eighteen. Uh, yes, so I am. I have been able to. I can't get that, that voice out of my head now. <laughs> I've been. Um, I haven't found everything yet. Um, the only thing I found is a claymore. Um, and I've managed to plant it, but I haven't used it because the server crashed. Well, it didn't crash, but it went down, so I was like, oh shit. And I didn't go on it for like another day. But uh, I found a lot of the grenades, like the, um, the, the 40 mils. And um, really nice touch that can they can go on your vest. I I can already see somebody making a bandolier as a mod, maybe putting it on like the vest slot so you have like a whole bunch of them. And it like when you reload your grenade launcher, it might like takes it from that slot. I think that'll be really really good. Um, <clears throat> The other stuff I haven't been able to find um, the the train locations. I know somebody managed to work out where the where they are. They made a list which I did have, but I've lost it. Whoops! But um, it's a good update, but I still feel like I don't know something's a bit. I can't I can't quite put my finger on it, and I think I said it. I think I said it last week. But I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I, I was happy with the update, but something just doesn't feel exciting, I guess you could say. Like, I wasn't too excited about the update, yeah. but I'm, well, I, I don't know. The frequency too. Now that they've started really releasing stuff very quickly, we're kind of getting a bit desensitized to these updates because before they were very it took a while for them to actually release to stable or even just for them to start working on them in general. So there was a lot more hype behind them, you know, because it was the new update coming out. Everyone was like, oh my God, it's coming, a new update. But now when it, they're coming out so frequently now that I think people are kind of just losing that hype for it, you know, because they mm. just, oh, new update came out, guys. <laughs> you know, so. Well, that's it. It's, um, I mean, maybe, maybe not. But I can't quite um I can't quite put my finger on it. I'm I'm happy with the more frequent updates. Absolutely. Um and uh Jordy, I don't know what you're uh, talking about. The name's always been correct, shush your face. I totally didn't put three instead of six in reference name. <laughs> don't know what you're on about. Oh lordy lord. But no, um I can't quite put my finger on it, but no idea. Scalespear in the chat here, he said there's a uh, there's a strong argument that these explosives are moving Daisy away from what we might think it should be like, and they'll have to be very rare. And as we've seen with the official press release regarding 1.18, yes. the only reason they're so frequently available is just because of experimental. So when it actually gets released to stable, they're going to be a lot lower and a lot more rare than they are right now. Mm -hmm. So... We're gonna have to wait and see with that, but I can I can kind of agree with that. I know a lot of people have kind of over the years built their image of what they want Daisy to become. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I don't want that to limit the developers from what they want to accomplish as well, you know? Because they've got their own ideas, they got their own plans, and 
you just need to hope that they're good. You know, you need to hope you want to hope that they're going to be fun and bring new experiences to the game because that's all you want. You want new fun experiences that you can enjoy on the mm -hmm. game at the end. I mean, I can kind of see where people come from of like, oh, is Daisy moving away? No, it's no, it's not. At the same time, it's really not. Um, <clears throat> I do wish they actually did add tear gas as one of the mill grenades. I think that would have been really fun. Um, if not, somebody will mod that in. But the the um, the pox grenade is quite an interesting thing. I haven't found one yet, and uh, but yeah, I mean, but when it does hit to stable. I can only imagine that a lot that that stuff will be rare, but I'm really excited about that part because it's it's more stuff to learn for modding, especially for myself who makes weapons. Um, that's going to be really really exciting to to learn like the best ways to do things. Like I I can already envision myself um, like a, a riot, like kind of like the riots, um, uh, like the grenade launchers riot police use. You know, where they've got, like, the, the rounds of the tear gas and it's got, like, the drum mag. I want to do something like that. Um, I think that would be really cool, but... I, I am excited to see what else they do. They do. They do do. <laughs> In future do -do. updates. Yep. Do do, yes. Um, and what they do as well, too, to jump in quickly, is what I've noticed a lot recently is with some of these updates they progressively release more content in the patches through Experimental, so we could have a chance to see some new stuff in one of the later patches before mm -hmm. it gets released to Stable as well. So Yeah. All, all, I, all I will say is, since obviously this is the third update this year, the fourth update last year was 114. And that was insane. Do you think 119 will be the major update this year? Or 120? I hope they stay even with it. I mm. hope that, like, I hope they go like for, um, or one twenty. You know, I think just like the solid number instead of having it like one nineteen. I think one twenty will be the big one. Yeah. But I think both of them. I think like as we progress to the end of the year, the last ones are all going to be heavy hitters. Oh yes, absolutely. You know? what, what do you think? And we Riff? still have a lot. We still have a lot of the year to go. So. Oh yes, we do. We do absolutely. But uh, what do you think, Rev? As somebody who's a content creator, mainly a player, what do you think? Um, I just learned today that you can saw off the revolver now. <laughs> I mean, that's... <laughs> uh, I, I didn't know that was... A, you know, I read these things, right? I try yes, to, yes. at least. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I I play uh, the game, man. But uh, no, uh, I, I don't know. I think as they can... I just... I think I'm glad that they're still continuing to put stuff in, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a grenade launcher or whether it's uh, you can run around like a mummy. Uh, <laughs> I just think it's good that we that they are continuing to do things because I think mm -hmm. if once they stop, then I'm gonna be sad and try to figure out another game to play. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I don't <laughs> want it to go away. And no. and I think I mean as long as I I see that they're continuing to put stuff out, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, mm -hmm. Whether I don't it doesn't really matter. I can't ever find that military stuff anyway. So, uh, <laughs> no, but no, but really it's really cool. I think some of the stuff that they added was really neat. Um, I do think the gas a gas grenade would have been pretty cool to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's cool that you can you can create uh, you know explosive device and you know if you want you can sit around a corner wait for somebody to walk in and blow it up and and laugh. Um, mm -hmm. but really, I just think overall, if they continue to, to make changes and keep adding things other than the red nine, uh, we'll be fine. I just had to get brought up what, one hour and 48 minutes. And we finally got somebody to mention the goddamn fucking I red promised nine. I would do it. I promised. Oh, man. <laughs> Every I, know, I didn't time. want to do it at the beginning because then we would just continue to talk about it. So I wanted to do it towards the end. So, you know, every, there was a cutoff point. Every single time. <laughs> my heart breaks a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. The... <laughs> if this was going good until then. I'm sorry. I have That's diarrhea. Fine. Uh, stream's over. I'm gone. I'll see you later, lads. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just going to stare at myself in the mirror like, why devs?
Why will you not bring my gun back? <laughs> oh, lordy lord. But yeah, no, I can't wait for the Red 9. 119, strip the clips, let's fucking go. But I'm, overall, I am happy. Don't get me wrong. I am happy that they are still producing content, bringing back old weapons and, and, and whatnot um, back into modern DayZ, which is something a lot of people have been asking for for the past, obviously, since, well, 1.0, 0 0.63. Um... So it's good that they're doing that. I do think either... <clears throat> I honestly think they'll swap it around this year and 120 will be the major. It would make sense. It's more of an even round number. A lot of stuff goes into... Especially for um, maps. Because Livonia is getting a, a, a overhaul this year. Um, and DOJ has kept everything rightfully so. So I really can't wait to see what he brings to um, the update. Really, really can't wait. And I can't wait to see what kind of um, new stuff that they do bring out, uh, they come out with. Um, apart from, obviously, the obvious, Red 9, I would like to see the LMGs be introduced, finally. And the launches finally introduced, as well as the vehicle physics. Um, that's my wish list I guess you could say for the rest of this year but we'll see we'll see what happens um but overall 118 good update certainly not the best but bring on 119 in like two or three months time really can't wait for that let's see the rose uh the uh groza <laughs> <laughs> yes oh mate the groza is the animations for that are gonna be sick I can't wait for that that's gonna be really cool for like um, for like AK bullpup designed rifles, like an SVU. Oh, that's gonna be so nice. Um, yeah, absolutely. Now, before we do finish up, there's one mod I want to talk about as a main subject. <clears throat> Pardon me. This is something that's kind of blew up overnight, ironically, considering the type of mod it is. Um, yes, I am proud that I made that connection. Uh, no, I will not apologize. <laughs> Is this lighting mod that's been, um, that's been brought up. Uh, I will share the video in, ch in chat for people to, to watch. Um, and I also also screen share Rev so you can see it as well. Just let me know when you're all watching. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the I see. That, sh that work with the shadows is fantastic. This reminds me a lot of Alpha. A hell of a lot of Alpha. Even the stars. Mm. I'm pretty also, sure that's a custom. A of, uh, you're getting a bit of feedback here. I'm hearing a bit of an echo. Oh, that's unusual coming from my end. Okay. Oh, sure, Dump, can you hear that too? Uh, yeah, I could. Is it... Is it done now? Echo? Nope, we're still getting it. Can people in chat uh, hear the echo? No way complaining. Might be because you're um, watching the stream at the same time, perhaps. I think the uh, source you're sharing to us is your uh, Discord, and not the actual uh, page. That might be it. Not too sure, though. Not too sure. I'll take a look at that at, uh, after the show. We'll find you in that. Yeah, they, they don't hear an echo. Okay, that's that's the main thing. We'll, we'll, we'll still take a, take a look at it. But yes, look at, look at this, the Gamma. Oh, Even cool. with Gamma up, you can barely see him, if at all. And I'm pretty sure that's custom skybox because that's quite green. A beautiful one at that too. <clears throat> oh, it's lovely. <clears throat> yep, 
Yeah, the day and night transitions can be a bit rough with Daisy. You can definitely tell when it's starting to get to like between day and night. But um, <clears throat> I saw this and I was really, really impressed. And it blew up, like I said, overnight, essentially. And I saw <clears throat> Asmondian make a tweet about it. And I knew I was just like, right, we ha we'll have to talk about this on the podcast and show it off. Because to me, this is something Daisy lacks. Because I know, obviously, you've got the Bright Nights and the Darker Nights. But you can't... There's no middle ground. Yeah, I mean, I know there was someone that tried to do it. But this looks brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And I hope the guy is open with... Um, is open with how he does things for, um, for his documentation. I know, uh, Dump, you said that you're going to make an example mod so people can understand that, and that would be great. But if this guy, um, if he decides to do yep. it himself, that would be fantastic as well. I do want to be clear, though, to people. My mod example is going to be what the daisy files already give us and his i believe is a completely different kind of lighting module it's mm. a modded of the lighting engine itself so those are two completely different ways of doing it i just want to make that clear that my examples won't be trying to make this guy's mod irrelevant his no, mod is going to be probably better than what i can show people mm -hmm. Not exactly and the guy on his name on youtube is alx i'm gonna actually sub to him um, I've already put the video in chat, so if you guys want to share the love, sub to him, like the video, give some feedback to him, based on this video. That would be great as well. Um, I, I can't wait to see how this mod does get developed. I know he said, I think it was in the modders Discord, that there were some issues with some, um, some parts of like models being highly reflective, even if it's in the pitch black. Um, but that'll be an RV mat issue, but I'm not too sure. The best way to counteract that, I think, would be something you'd have to kind of like put up with. Um, now, one thing but, I was thinking on mm -hmm. the uh, modding into things is I would love that kind of in the wake of this, Bohemia provided us the ability to make custom light configs because we, as you know, we're only can, we're only limited to dark nights or bright nights, which is like zero or one in the um, in the options. It would be interesting. If they possibly gave us, because they've been they've been really trying to give us new, um, both JSON files and XMLs to kind of emulate what's possible within the NetC for console, mm -hmm. well, and for PC as well. But it would be interesting if they gave us um, some sort of JSON or XML to be able to create custom lighting configs. Yeah, because on on PC there is an actual like config that you can modify and that's what Dump and I we've worked on previously although it's been so long since I've done it I'll have to go back and kind of relearn still... it a bit it's still it's gold it's beautiful but yeah it's it's a shame that console doesn't have that option because yeah. um, I know with like uh, with uh, maps like Takistan and the mosque they've color corrected with the lighting config to get the kind of bluish and orangish tint that they have um, which is a very subtle detail that you never really notice, but it kind of, once you do notice, it's like, oh, right, yeah, okay, no, I know, I, I get that. It's, it's very nice. But, um... Uh, just to be clear, Old Man Birch, Daisy fully allows the lighting of the moon to be blocked by clouds, trees, houses. It all depends on where you are. Like, the configs that we are given, light nights and dark nights, are such stark contrasts and everything in between is just so gorgeously done. Mm -hmm. uh, so like when I was talking about ours, ours um, made the moonlight way brighter. So like when you're running through the fields, it was still dark and dingy, but you could still see quite a bit better. Yeah. But if you're running through a town or looting houses, you were still in the pitch dark because that's how it worked. The moonlight would come through the windows. It would come through the leaves. But majority of the time you were blind inside of uh you know houses and other places that block the light it was painful. what's cool about this mod <laughs> that lab probably can admit to is that this mod actually was adding in other things that we don't have in day z um which was really cool because 
as the moonlight hits, there's quite a bit of, uh, what would you call it, bleed, light bleed mm. into the shadows, right, lad? And you don't get that stark, harsh shadows kind of like you had in that mod. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and get in touch with the guy to see if I can get some more information about it. But I can I can understand, say, like on a on a content creator side, because um, Rev, do you um, you know if you're playing on a server and it goes nighttime, what do you typically do? Um, I have a a scene set up for Gamma just for the stream only, right? Oh, so God they can that. see that. And but I I typically I like to run around with flashlights and mm. all that good stuff uh, because I just think it's you know it's part of the game. Yes, uh, I can't I can't see very well in the dark. I don't I don't really like not having a light source. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I give them gamma so they can at least see something, and then I like to use I like to use whatever light source that they have in game. Mm-hmm. Oh no, absolutely. I, I was kind of like that um, when I got into modding. I was very disappointed with the lack of light sources, so I kind of made my own mod to combat that, and it's and it's good. Um, a bit whatever to to say that it's you know my own mod's good, but it actually is. <laughs> but it's 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 nice, um, especially now that we do have more light sources, and. You know, people are coming up with more ideas and mods to kind of counteract and make the nighttime <clears throat> more immersive. I know, and the reason why I asked that question is because I know a lot of content creators, they'll just, <clears throat> they'll do what you do or they'll just leave the server because um, they don't like nighttime, which is fair. It's, how would I say it? You have to be in a particular, I wouldn't say state of mind, but you have to be a particular player to enjoy the night play. But I think not, the night time is like half the fun of Daisy, considering it is half the bloody time of the day. But <clears throat> Great. yeah, but it's 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 good, and I I can't wait to see what this guy um makes. But I, I wanted to show it on the podcast, and I wanted to show it yourself, Rev, to get your thoughts on it, because it's just it's it's something like that on that really interests me as well as the team and the community's got to know about stuff like this. Yeah, because, I really thought that was cool. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's really really cool, but um, but yeah. So hopefully, um, Salting Crackers uh, says any ideas, guys, if and when Daisy devs are going to fix the eye zoom lighting bug, i.e., a light source becomes no longer visible when zoomed. Um, right. So that is probably most likely due to the transition between the two different light types so you've got your local light which is kind of like um what you typically see when you've got a flashlight and then you'll have the when you're way off in the distance you'll have the different kind of um light where it's just like pure white it's whatever and you can see for like miles right <clears throat> the transition here between the two yeah it's a bit of an issue it's a lot issue um i have no idea if they're ever going to fix it if enough people talk about it on the feedback in the feedback tracker, maybe it'll get addressed. But we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, I wish I knew more. <laughs> Just as I'd be like, oh, hey guys, here's all the info. <laughs> but sadly, I don't, unfortunately. But if we do have any updates, <clears throat> or if we'll learn anything, we'll be sure to let you guys know. Um, but yeah, Rev, it's been absolutely wonderful having you, my guy. It's, I appreciate you guys having me on. It was a blast. <laughs> I'm I'm really, really happy to hear that. I really am. I was very nervous considering, um, you know, <clears throat> you're the first guest that we've had on the show since I took over. And, you know, you've been absolutely wonderful. And it's been an honor to have you on at the show to talk about yourself, to learn more about you and to learn about all the hilarious stories that you've had. And I can't wait to see how you continue to grow. I really, really can't. But before we completely finish, what's your spotlight, Rev? We we ask this all the time, every single week. Have you got a spotlight? Like uh, somebody that I would like to. So, yeah, bring some, up? So, someone you would like to talk about, so like, just to put the spotlight spotlight on, or an event or something, just anything. <clears throat> hmm. Uh, put me on the spot. For the spotlight. Uh, no, but really, um, there, you know, I, I've really, 
I've met a lot of cool people. Um, a lot of cool people have started streaming that, that have watched me for a very long time. You know, people like Chewy. Yes. Uh, Chewy is he, he he's streaming now. You know, check Chewy out. It's like Chewy underscore four zeros, I believe, at Twitch. <laughs> do you have a link? Um if you do, post no. it in the um post it in the YouTube chat. Or if Chewy's here, you can do it yourself, mate. Plug that link in there, my lad, and get those fucking attention. <clears throat> Old man Birch. I've done that before quite a few times. Spotlight the entire days of community. I don't yeah. think that worked, but I think that's it. But anyway, um, but no, like, you know, Onion, I, I think he's in here too somewhere yes. I've seen. But, you know, he's he's a new streamer now. I just think really... I try to show love to mu as much as I can to the smaller streamers because really uh, it, we got to continue to support each other. And mm -hmm. it's not about me. It, I, it really isn't. It's just about Daisy. And yes, absolutely. Um, I, I, I want, and I really talked, I talked about this the other day. I'm part of the survivor stream team, but I think one yes. day uh, when I, when, if I should say if <laughs> or when I ever become partnered, I would really love to start a stream team just for, uh, smaller streamers and to be able to uh, you know lift them up and support them and be able Absolutely. to you know try to give them a boost that you know because a lot of people like my, myself I I was I struggled to get affiliate for months and months oh, and months man. and months yeah. and so you know all it takes is a little bit of support from somebody who has a decent community and that person is going going to go you know get affiliate quick and be able to grow and, and get their own community eventually but Really, mm -hmm. um, you know, Onion and Sweet, that's in the chat. I think she's been in there a few times. She, you know, yes. She's a streamer, too. So, really, I don't know. Spotlight everybody, I guess. But <laughs> it's hard to pick one. Spotlight but Those your are all community. people <laughs> that have supported me for, for a very, very long time. And I think it's, you know, it's only due for, for me to be able to support them Absolutely. and give them a shout. Well, that's it. And, that, and that's that's the best thing. You know, that they've they've helped you grow and they want to do something like that why not return the favor that's the main thing and from from the from what i've been seeing in chat they've been brilliant and you know i want to thank everybody in chat as well for coming along listening to us talk for the past two hours it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know everyone there it's been i keep doing that but it's my thing now so thank you so much um dump what's your spotlight uh, I would like to spotlight a mod called Repair Wells. And this is a kind of a cool mod because it plays to my hardcore, like, right. itch. And it makes it so that you can make it so wells randomly across the map are broken and you have to use a pipe wrench to fix them to be able to get water out of them. Uh, I love these kind of elements that give more purpose to uh, mundane items, like the pipe wrench. You only use it for yes. melee. There's no other really use for it besides repairing maybe a car. Yeah. But who does that, right? Yeah. Um, so I just find this really cool because it gives another purpose. I think, uh, I hope this guy ends up um, expanding on this a little bit more because I uh, think that just being able to repair wells is a little bit... Uh, it's not much in there, but I hope he expands. But it's really cool mm -hmm. that there are more people pushing the hardcore kind of like mods. And I'm just going to throw the link in chat if anybody's yep. interested in it. Get that link Russian, in. But it's amazing. Absolutely. I love the creativity of them. You got to. You got to. It's, it's, just, it's, it's a small little detail like that, which can really... It's, it's just nice because now it's like <clears throat> you go through like... I know Electro, for example, and you've been alive for a while. Maybe you spawned a chair now you've gone through and you're like, you're desperate for water. And maybe this well, oh, it has been repaired. Oh, great. But then that means somebody's been near. Somebody could still be around. So that's an extra element of fear. And that's great. Absolutely. What about yourself, Lemons? What have, what's your spotlight for this week? Now, the person I'd like to spotlight is a user on Reddit. Now, I've got the video here. I'm just going to share this real quick. Yes, uh, what course. they did is they created... A sort of mod for their server that allows for enterable mines using like those uh mine shaft bro, assets bro that was gonna be my fucking spotlight <laughs> <laughs> you're an ass. you snooze you lose yes so this was actually done by mouse yep. Shh, yep. Lad, it's his right. <laughs> okay let's play through this real quick Go uh, for can it. you guys see the video uh yes 
I yeah, can. That's awesome. All right. As you can see there, what he did is he actually added like a box there that can be interacted with to allow the user to enter into that mine because normally when you see those mine shaft assets around the map, you can't actually open them or enter into them. Yes. So he's given <clears throat> a way to actually actually interact with them. So you teleport inside. So now you can build very cool caves, mine shafts, maybe sewage systems using this. Now He's already said that the black box that you guys see here is only for his experiments. So yes. once this gets released to like the full server and it gets released normally, you won't be able to see this black box and it will be transparent. Mm -hmm. But I just think that's so cool. I just I when I, when I saw this, I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Because yep. that's the one so... thing I think Daisy lacks on their vanilla maps is any sort of underground aspects like caves or a sewage system or mine shafts or something just adding a different uh, different levels to it, you know? I mm -hmm. feel like that would be pretty cool. So having this, I think, was just just awesome. It is. It really, really is. <clears throat> and it's and so to expand on this, since you stole my spotlight, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you get. Um, so the server that this is being, it is for and is being tested on is the Spearhead server. Um, I've showcased this server before in the past. Um, I would highly encourage you to go on there to play, get involved in the Discord, give feedback, and just have fun. Um, this mod is still in development, and I'm actually teaching Mass um, quite a few things. We've been talking backwards and forwards a little bit the past few days um, about different mine designs and whatnot. It's been looking at some old Siberian mines and Russian mines to kind of like get a similar feel. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, being teaching them multi materials and teaching them like the best processes for creating sections for mines in caves and just buildings in general, and it is looking really really nice. Um, I've I think I've actually said I wanted to do something like this before, and it's it's difficult to do, and but it's it's gonna work out so well. It's gonna be really really interesting and with just the mechanic of being able to just touch the box and teleport you know wherever you can use it for sewer systems and there is ideas for that there is ideas for that um but yeah it's really really cool really really cool but don't worry i had a backup spotlight <laughs> so i was actually going to spotlight two things um and that was going to be masses um, uh, mine <clears throat> for his server and I was actually going to spotlight um, Delos XP server as not only that as well as the view tips that he posted um, on top of that now I did that I found the tweet don't worry I got it guys um, <clears throat> so he's actually changed the view distance on his experimental server um, it doesn't affect the network bubble, but it really does affect the visuals. And he gives some advice and the best way to um, to go about that and to increase the view distance. Here's experiment on the server, whereas it's low pop. Um, it's a really comfortable server to try and experiment with. And he has changed some elements. Um, infected counts are higher. Uh, there are stuff spawning that shouldn't be spawning, but it's an experimental server, so, you know, go nuts. Um, but <laughs> I I was terrified at one point because I, I arrived accidentally to Vibor. Um, I didn't realize I was there until I kind of like went over the hill because I was chasing a heli crash. I heard the sound. Um, and the fields around Vibor were filled to the brim with infected like i could see them as far as my game would render it was insane and i thought i thought at first that shit you know there's a heli crash near a local major town i was genuinely thinking has the devs changed how infected spawn with heli crashes maybe there's like a lot more depending on the location no, he just upped the count and didn't tell me, so I was like, you fucking dick. But it showed a possibility of what you can do. So I would say 
if you want to play an experimental server and you haven't found a stable, uh, stable, a proper experimental community server, give his a shot. Really, really fun. Get yourself in there. And just have a good time. That's what I did, and I love it. But that is it for today. Well, tonight. It's been an absolutely fantastic show. Again, Rev, thank oh, you much. It, it did. Faster, man. It, it really, really did. It's been lovely. It's been really, really nice to just sit down, have a chat, and just get to know you, Rev. It's been absolutely wonderful for you coming on to the show. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you for having me. I've enjoyed it. I, I'm, <clears throat> it means a lot that you have. And I really do hope that your community has enjoyed it. They seem to be talking amongst themselves, having a go at... Uh, uh, Birch, <laughs> apparently, or something like that. Um, yeah, but it's typical. Been... <laughs> Fair enough. But no, it's been absolutely lovely. And don't be a stranger. You're welcome back anytime. Um, anytime you want to come on, you want to talk about something new or something major that's coming up, do you know? Do give us a shout. We'll be able to uh, to get you back on. Yeah, I appreciate and that. Anytime, man. Anytime. Like I said, it's been an honor having you on. Um, <laughs> leg wax time yes as people's been saying um <laughs> so that's I'm not looking forward to it oh but i am <laughs> but uh you said you are live streaming that, aren't you? Swimmer. it may <laughs> i don't swim <laughs> <laughs> oh well time we'll to make learn. more aerodynamic it's gonna look real good on the softball field when i'm wearing shorts and oh, some parents yes. gonna be like why is one leg smooth and one leg hairy i don't know fashion statement <laughs> Just yeah. explain away with I lost a bet. <laughs> Nobody will care after that. That's true. <laughs> Lordy Lord. But but yes, it's been again, thank you very much for coming on to the show. I really do appreciate it. We do not have a guest announced for next weekend. However, I am in the talks with somebody who was supposed to be a guest uh, a couple of months back. Gonna see if we can get them on for next week. Um, I won't say their name just in case it doesn't fall, like it doesn't work out and it falls through, but we will be making an announcement on who that will be once it's more organised and I'll be talking about it with my team a little bit more. But thank you everybody so much for coming on. Dump Lemons Rev, much love to you guys. Thank you very much. And we shall see you all next week, same time, Friday night. Have a good one. Take care of yourself, guys. Much love to you. Take it easy, guys. Bye bye, you naughty boys. <laughs>
Um, did I say same time next week? Yeah, same time next week. Um, hopefully we'll have more updates about some of the subjects we've, we've discussed. Um, where can I find your t Twitch channels? Um, I will... Um, uh, just give me a second. Um, so, so, sorry, sorry to sorry to interrupt, Dump. Uh, I'm still streaming. Can you guys pe please put your Twitch links in the chat? People want to follow and whatnot. Is that okay? Oh, thank you very much, beautiful boys. Right, they'll be putting that in the chat um, for you, and I'll put mine in while I'm here. And I do not bloody forget. I don't stream often. But I really should. I've got all the tech to do it. I just don't have the bloody time. So there's mine. Um, so I typically stream alone. Um, and sometimes I'll stream more development. Sometimes I'll just stream gameplay. Uh, but yeah. So again, thank you so much everybody for coming on. Really do appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I hope you have a lovely week. And I shall catch you guys next week. Right. Much love to you. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye for now.